Yeah, you're going to have to use your phone because I can't bring the... No, my phone, phone is not unlocking. It's oh, okay. just acting dumb. All right, there we go. And... Oh, come the hell on. Like, I, I'm about to just go buy a new phone. Should have getting on my nerves. Oops, let's mute that real quick. And let oh, us share the screen. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. All right. Bam. Okay. All right, and let's see. I can bring this to the front. All right. Hey, Alice. Hey, you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for sharing. Ellen, LTBR, you're here for the toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Cash hey, Flow? Rihanna. Slow mo. Slow mo. What's up with you? My goodness gracious. Five deep. Thank you for the props, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, we are getting ready to. Get this, they get this show on the road, as they say. Yup, yup, yup. Got to move over because it's capturing this. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. What up? Yeah. What up? What up? Oh my CL, goodness. C L W Junior. What's up with you? Her eyebrow game Thank is sharp. You M J H. Eli the group. My eyebrow game sharp, man. They almost wiped my eyebrows off the other day when I was cleaning the bathroom. Oh man, <laughs> that was hilarious. Thank I you, Fab. And my son, they both almost wiped my eyebrows off. Thank you, prophecy. But they're still here. <laughs> All right, what up? What up? What's, What's happening? happening? What's happening? Thank you, wrong money. money. T and five deep. We appreciate all the props. So, y'all know how this goes. We're gonna get into. It. We're gonna give a couple people, uh, you know, a few more minutes to pull up. We know. We know how. You know, we know how y'all like to do. Let's say that. You know what I mean? So, we don't want to. Uh, you know, have anybody miss anything. Right, you know what I'm right, right. Y'all go ahead, share the stream at this time. We're going to ask y'all to share the stream. We have a special guest pulling up for you guys today. Yeah. So please, please, please make sure y'all share the stream. Uh, let's see if I can shrink that a little bit. Bam. And bam. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do. All right, all right. There we go. All right. Thank you, bro, Matt. Thank you, bro, Matt. 361 Dub. Shakir. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank y'all for sharing. So y'all know the vibes, man. Just Anwar. It's Slim Rita here. You already know the vibes. It's the a &R show, and mm -hmm. today is Thursday, so it is Relationship Thursdays. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, again, we know y'all love battle rap. We love <laughs> battle rap, too. We do. We really do. But today, you know what I mean, we try to stay away from the battle rap talk. Um, we got a special guest with us tonight, or special guests. Multiple. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to hear one, see one kind of thing. Um, Y'all know and love them from Caffeine. You know, they were uh, pretty much one of the first uh, Caffeine shows that we really got, you know, kind of addicted to. to and addicted to. Right, right. So um, they're on every day except for Wednesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to say until... But without further ado, we're going to bring on Pig Stand. So, give me one second and bow. There we wow. go. Wow, there you have it. What up, what What's up? up? Pig Stand? What's Can you guys on? hear Pig Stand fine? Can y'all hear them okay? Oh, well, why not? Why is that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Nope, I know what's going on. No, no, I know what's going on. Hold up one second. Uh, bam, and this is, oh, no, wait a minute, no, I know what it is, I just need to add the source, that's what it is, because we're using something different, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. that is what it is, hey, you should be good now, how about now? now, can you guys hear them now, what up, what up, what up, there you go, go ahead, say something, oh, that's wait a minute, wait, 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 now. wait, wait, because now we can't hear, hold up, <laughs> this thing is crazy, there we go, you got us now? Yeah, we should I be good now. Y'all can Yay. hear him now? There we go. I'm sorry. Whole new oh, source. Good. Yeah, man. We, we be trying, man. We're trying to get good. We're trying to get good. So anyway, so welcome. Welcome, man. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No problem. No problem. No problem. Um, so y'all want to introduce yourselves? Again, I mean, we know you. We love you. We're always there. But for the people who may not have made the transition yet. Uh, I'm Nick. That's Emerald on the other side of the, the desk. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, are, we are Pig Stand. Stand. Yes. We, uh, we're a talk show on Caffeine TV. We uh, interview famous people, interesting people, uh, and talk a whole bunch of shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. The shit talk will be at a premium. What up, Reese? I see you. Hey, Reese, do me a favor. Share the stream on, on the uh, Facebook group, please. That'll actually help me out a little bit. Thank oh, you. Oh, hey, Reese. I know that, Reese. Yeah, that's Reese from from, from Yeah, uh, I used Madden. to bother all those guys in the Madden group. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate <laughs> it. Appreciate it. So, uh, Relationship Thursdays, man. We, uh, we're going to start trying to bring on. Thank you, Cab Cali. Appreciate the props. We're going to start trying to bring on more and more guests for you guys. Yep. And, you know, we've already reached out to some people who have said yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, thank you, Gutter. Appreciate it. Headshot. I know. Headshot. <laughs> um, but I, I, I couldn't help but have Pig stand on, man. They've been so welcoming us to the community that, you know, when it's like, all right, we got we got our overlay popping. You know, he's helped us basically be able to have guests. Yep. So, yeah, pig stand is the best. So, tonight, what I did, we did a little differently. Y'all know from the YouTube, what we used to do is, you know, we would just randomly pick a number. Rita and I would rock, paper, scissors yep. it. Um, but having guests, I think... You know, you can spend a little too much time, and then if they pick numbers that have already been used, it'll just take forever. So what we did was I told them to pick two numbers each. So, Nick, uh, your numbers were? Nick's numbers were 42 and 63. That's a fact. And And Emerald's Emerald's numbers were 33 and 44. Right. Hmm. So those are the numbers we have to pick from tonight, guys. Now, y'all know how this goes. They know they know what their numbers say, but it's not about them yet. It's not about them yeah. yet. <laughs> we want to know what y'all want to hear about. So, so what we can do is we'll have you guys. We're going to pop it in the chat really quick, all yeah. four of the numbers. You guys are going to upvote for what number you guys want to discuss. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one. Bam. Second one. Bam, third one, and the last and final one. And y'all know how we do, what man. Pig stand, pig stand rocks out with us uh, quite a while, so, you know, we say nine until. So, you know, whatever one y'all pick, <laughs> that doesn't say that the other ones won't Ooh, get a chance to get talked about. 33 and 42 are lightened up. Yeah, 42 <laughs> and 33 are Uh-oh, side by side. Right we got now. a tie. We're tied like, right now. I feel like they already know what they what the question is. Yeah, right? <laughs> they already know. You guys may have to do rock, paper, scissor on yeah. your end to figure out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how guys. about that? You guys know how to I'm sure y'all know how to play rock, paper, scissors, right? Oh, of course. All mm-hmm. right, so. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. 42 kind of took off. <laughs> 42 is in the lead by quite a bit. All right. He said, Axe Daylight. All right. So we'll start with 42. All right. Yeah, I like that random guy. See, we can't get away from Battle App even when we try. Right. Rock, paper, scissors is a, is a crazy daylight bar. All right. So 42. Rita, you want to go ahead and. So, you guys, this is number 42. Talking yourself out the panties. When slash how to keep the yams on the table. <laughs> oh, boy. So, please explain. <laughs> I'm not sure I uh, understand right. this one. So this one is, I mean, you're welcome to chime in. And again, remember, guys, just so everybody's clear. Remember, when we're doing Relationship Thursdays, you're free to tell your own story story of a friend, anything like that. So, uh, chat, this may or may not be directly attributed to Pig Stand, okay? So, <laughs> don't don't go, you know, creating y'all blogs and, and, and putting stuff on Twitter. But here we go. So, talking yourself out the yams. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> talking yourself out the panties basically means, like, some, let's say I, I am a firm believer that women know right away whether or not they're going to give you some sex that y'all know right away and it's up to us not to fuck it up (laughs) so we're talking about now how to not fuck it up how to make sure that when 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 the panties are on the table you don't do anything to fuck it up so that that's what we're talking about now so okay um, oh hell i i'm i'm kind of curious what uh what heather's take is on this like Obviously, there are a million ways a dude can fuck this up. That's a fact. Obviously. Um, well, you know, I don't know. With the young people, there's some things I think maybe that, that you know, to do with technology and social media that might come into play. But from my, from my experience, things like 
um, you know, the the fedora tip, milady stuff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the Stacy. Go back, that's not a, go that's not back a to Robert. medieval times. Go back to the to the you know the fa- Renaissance fair and do that there. <laughs> okay. Um, but I don't know. I can't think. Oh, you're just gonna give it up to anybody Sweat. then. Yeah, yeah, we've been together almost 20 years. You're asking me a question about something I can't answer very easily. You got to take um, it back, M. You got to go back, back to the dating, the dating yeah. days. Yeah, back in the day before. What did you or say? Or been... do you have some friends who may have been in that dating phase yeah, within or who your might 20 be there years now. with him? And, you know, you've heard some stories. You've witnessed some things. I would say from a man's perspective, you're going to have to lie. You're going to have to watch every single thing you say. You can't you can't make a comment about religion because what if she's a different religion? You can't make a comment about uh, uh, sex because what if she's huh? not open to that? Like to talk about it openly, even though she wants it. Right. Uh, I mean, you got to you got to hold the door. You got to pay for some <laughs> shit. You got to. I feel like you got to do all of it. Yeah. I, I really? out to the, tra- the chat. Uh, Three six one dub said, just whip it out. <laughs> <laughs> that is Nick's. Uh, place. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but that's a, that's after 20 plus years. I'm yeah, sure the first right? time, you know, he didn't just walk up. Hey, babe, check this out. You know, I mean, well, I just, let, I just let me not be presumptuous. It in her cup. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you like here, some coffee this. with your breakfast? Drink this, bitch. Yeah, right. Listen. Oh, you're thirsty. I, think, I got you. I think a big thing uh, for wow, for a lot wow. of women Bad, is well, good choice words. I guess. Go ahead. Sorry. Probably a really good kiss. <laughs> if you can't kiss, you better learn how. Because okay. not you know you can talk yourself out of that by being a bad kisser. Okay. You know the thought replays. If you're a bad kisser, then you're not good at you know other things either. So. That yeah. might not be true, though. It might not. You're right, but I mean, I you mean, could you could be the the if greatest. If you're just going on a on a riot, you could be the greatest at some at licking some some puss, but you can't kiss for shit. <laughs> hey, listen. I don't know. I, I mean, I I understand I what she's saying. Cool, like right. maybe <laughs> if it's um the foreplay as well, if foreplay the kissing, mm-hmm. all of that is just not right. It's like hmm. You must not have much experience. You must not know what you're doing. Like uh, yeah. Yeah, but oh, what if shit. it's too good? And then and then they're like, oh, this motherfucker got too much experience. <laughs> yeah, right? Let's just give the curse. You. <laughs> like, that's, well, that's like a given with most guys. If you're going to, it depends on the kind of guy, too. If you're out with an alpha guy, you have certain kind of expectations versus a guy that's a bit more of a beta. Yeah. You expect a alpha, uh, an alpha to bring it, like, yeah. all the way. A beta yeah. guy, you cut him some slack, you know? It's almost, <laughs> sometimes it can be a pity fuck. Who knows? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, gotta add, I gotta add pity yams to the spreadsheet. <laughs> pity yams. <laughs> Have you ever given pity yams? That yeah, that's, choke. that's definitely going that on the spreadsheet. Was, what? <laughs> so, a pity fuck. I, I damn, I say, feel sorry for this Is that like the lowest of low? Like, yeah. Is that like bottom of the barrel fucks? I, I don't probably. I mean, How desperate do you got to be for that? You don't. You just feel so bad that this poor guy is just trying so very hard. And you're just, you're just like, okay, damn. fine. Because I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is. Could have had a V8, man. That's what I'll say. But Wait, uh, we- go ahead. Like if you do that, do you do you tell them that that's what it is? No. no and what no, if no. they expect another date and then they yeah. Like call oh, you, you around just and uh, what you do is you that's just you like delete stalk. their number and block them and all that good stuff. <laughs> you can't do right. that after. I mean, I guess yeah, you that's can, fucking but... cold. Yeah. Oh wait, I've you been... don't say anything. I mean, that's a cold. lot of women cold get enough to relationships kind of like that too. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, if he's a really nice guy, you don't want to break his heart. And it's really uh-huh. hard to get rid of him. I mean, I've actually dumped a guy off on another girl. And wow. <laughs> okay. Actually, See, the last mean. one, Nick wound up answering the phone and telling him to stop calling me. So, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, dude, you didn't do your job. I'm here. 
<laughs> Relax. Fall back, buddy. Shout out to Mr. IMO in the chat. He said a pity fuck might be good. Yeah. See that? Suppose really? everything oh, so everything else was bad, and then he knocked the bottom out that thing. You sitting there like, well, damn. Right? Yeah. I mean, you it could happen. Know. It could happen, I guess. I, I mean, mean not <laughs> yeah, in my right? experience, but it could. <laughs> That's why I'm like, most guys that are able to get it aren't necessarily pressed to get it. So they're not going to try really hard and be and put themselves in a position to have to get a pity fuck. Yeah. Right. I'll say this, you know, uh, when it comes to talking yourself out of it, I, I back in the day have set some friends up with some, let's say, uh, not the most, I'll say the rather easy. You know, layup drills is what we call it. You know, where pretty oh. much all you got to do is show so up. They can, so pockets. they can get on the easy mare to take a ride. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, because you can't send them up. out there on the, you know, you can't send them out there on the thoroughbred that's ready to run. They're not there yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I set somebody up once, and uh, I don't know. It's funny because one of my friends who, he's going to know exactly what I'm talking about if he's in the chat. But uh, I set the guy up once. Everything was, you know, going good. We all met up at, at, you know, basically a public place. I had already, you know, kind of told him, listen, bro, all you got to do, hang out for a little bit. Tell her, like, yo, you know, you want to leave, slide on over. You know what I mean? Just go right on ahead with you, and then you take it to the crib and do your thing. Everybody's hanging out. I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm about to slide, (laughs) waiting for him to say the same thing. He says to the chick, so uh, you want to go get something to eat? Mind you, it's 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. So I kind of look at him right away like, well, oh, shit, I almost said his name. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, dinner's not part of the plan, my man. Like, because now you're setting it up for Mm -hmm. something different. This is supposed to be a a wham, bam, thank you, man. You you doing dinner and movies and all that. Now it's a date. Yeah. So now she might not want to. She might fall in love. Yeah. And she might not want to, you know. Do the do. Do the do. Because that way she can always, you know, she, she, because, you know, no girl does that. You know what I mean? They all, I've never done this before. First dates and stuff like that, you know, giving it up. So. But yeah, he, he talked himself right out of it. He he took her to dinner and I heard all about it. They was on South Street till like three in the morning. I get the phone call the next day. I'm like, yo, man, like, what y'all end up like, how'd it go? He's like, Oh man, we going out again this weekend. What? Huh? Wait. <laughs> what, what that you wasn't mean? the plan. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Well what you mean? He like, Yeah, man, like, you know, it didn't seem like she was really with it. Bro. She was already with it. Like, I I had, it's a, it was a layup. All you had to do was give her the ride home. Like, that was it. So, I've seen that happen. And I do think, like, even if it's not the type, the layup type thing, you know, even in a, in a, a long-term relationship, you can fuck up by getting into the wrong conversations or, you know, bringing up yeah. some old shit or, or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Talking you about know? your exes. Yeah, There's right. There's a bunch Don't of different ever things that could actors. happen on a date or something like that um, to talk this out. I've personally had, which he, it, it kind of was, it wasn't necessarily him talking. It was the arrogance and the cockiness for me that was like, oh, you think you just going to get it. Like, it's mm-hmm. it's going to get handed to you on a silver platter. So that kind of stuff for me was like, I, I dated a guy back when I was young and that was his thing. And he's like, you know, he just had this attitude like, You know, one day you're going to give it to me, but for right now, I'm just going to kind of torture you and I'm going to get on your nerves about it. And yeah, he didn't get it. He tried everything and it's like, um, you're making me not want to give it, give it to you at all whatsoever. Like you're being too cocky. Yeah, Yeah. man. Like, all right. So battle rap still said, did it make you mad or did you think it was funny? For me? Did it make me mad? Yeah. No. 
I wasn't mad at all. It was just annoying that he felt like it was just going to get handed to him. Like I was just supposed to, I, maybe he thought that I was super infatuated with him. And for me, it was just like, listen, dude, I've seen everything under the sun. I have a brother with green eyes. I have a, a light skinned brother with really pretty hair. Like I've, I've seen everything there is to see, like you're <laughs> nothing special. And the thing was he had pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. So he felt like, you know what? You're, you're pretty cute and everybody likes you. And I got these eyes. You want to just get pulled right on in. And it was just like, eh, have you seen my brother's eyes, though? I had to grow up with that. Like, I lived with that all of my life. You know so that trick. Whatever yeah. you have going on ain't yes, that Yes, I am, CP4. <laughs> yes, I am special. Oh, wow. Boo with the follow-up, Ed. Boo, CP4. Damn it, I thought you was giving me props. <laughs> that was a good one. But, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's like... I don't know. I, I guess from the women's take, I guess I'll ask uh, M and, and you, Rita. Like, is, is it? All right. So, like I said, I believe that y'all know right away whether or not y'all going, you know, <laughs> give it up. Like, is, is that true? I'm sorry. I'm laughing at the chat right now. B5 I'm... has said, easiest way to get over the eyes, poke them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've actually only known with three people. All three of those people were very long-term relationships. Okay. Um, I, the first, the first guy I was ever with, um, the, our oldest daughter's biological dad and Nick. Okay. And all the rest of them, they're just kind of a blur. I don't, I don't really. Yeah. After like, 20 years, it's like, Hey, who is that? <laughs> Yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Somebody said somebody showed up on a date with their mom. Oh, oh yes. If yeah, you want to hear bad story. date stories, Starry <laughs> is the one. Oh my God. Oh, Starry has the craziest. I think every date she goes on is a bad date. Like, she, she has crazy ass stories. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's that's just <laughs> yeah. I don't that's even, next level. Yeah, that's like I, I I don't even know how that comes about. Like. Right. That's one of them ones where it's like, wait, what? Well, it's the, Why same, the is... same guy that shows up at his job interviews with his mom, too. Oh, that's oh. Just foul. That's just foul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if Certain... I'm interviewing you, I don't want to see your mother. And if you, you can really give me home. the yams, I don't want my mom to know I'm getting the yams. That's, <laughs> yeah, no, that's not the move. That is definitely not the That's move. why I live so far away from my mom because we're so, so close. And she would know and she would say something. Like, oh, y'all about to go do the shucky ducky quack quack. And it's like, oh, mom, shit. you can't be talking about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, my you got to relax. You got to relax. But, um, yeah, that's why I live so far away from her. Yeah, that's a little much right there. Oh, Me my and my mom God. are like this, though. Like, we're really close. Close, uh -huh. close. You know, though. Yeah, We yeah. talk, like, every day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, me and my mom are close, too, but it's certain things that I just... He has those boundaries, and me and my mom has more, like, that friendship thing going on, so we kind of just talk about everything. It yeah. doesn't matter. I talk about... I talk about <laughs> just... I talk with my mom about just about everything. Certain shit, though. Mom Dukes, yeah, no. She, you don't need to know. Like... Mr. IMO, you know she old school sure. when she hit the shucky ducky quack quack. I mean, that, <laughs> that right there killed me every time like i just be hanging up on her sometimes she's shucky duck oh boop i, I yeah. can't talk to you <laughs> yeah whatever red spider b red oh man so yeah uh, i don't I tell mean, my parents shit yeah like i just <laughs> i i just don't like i i couldn't see that i can't see that conversation going well in any like what what, what is what's the best case scenario like you tell your mom like yeah i'm about to go get something and she like Knock it out the park, son. Like, yeah, like right? pretty much. <laughs> like, what's the? And that's that's not that that's not something that you want your mom to know. Like, right. my, and that's my, my dad thing. I does like that it. shit. My yeah. dad does that Look, shit. Nick's dad my is dad, weird, man, though. My dad, man, he he pulls some leg, dude. I'm not even bullshitting. Yeah. He'll pick up girls half his age. All the time. Oh shit. And then, and then he's like, he'll call, and he'll be like, uh -huh. hey, I just met this girl at the <laughs> casino. Wait, what? I'm about to take her home. I'm about to take her home right now. I'm about to fuck. Don't do it. I'm like, why are you calling me? I don't want to hear yeah, this shit. Like, what? 
What? And he's trying to get some type of appreciation for the victory. Yeah, you know? no. All no. they want is your no. social security check, man. They know you're rolling in the casino every month with a straight check. Oh, oh my gracious. god! Like You're just trying yeah, to get like, free gambling money and hydrocodones, Dad. You gotta. Kill the fuck <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Yo, yeah, like I, it's weird. Like obviously, they want your pills and potions. That's it. No, obviously, it's no lie. We we know that you know you know your parents. Obviously, you know what I mean. But it's like that's just not something you ever want to think about. I don't know. I. I, oh shit! I don't know. I'm My mom was chat. very open about those uh, conversations, like growing up, and I mean, as far as giving us the reality of things, like. This but I is, mean, you're not gonna tell me your mom was like, "Listen, girl, you really want to turn them out? Make sure you put both your no, legs." No, no, no. Like, now what I'm saying is, like, you can't. I don't like to have those conversations with my mom. Yeah. Like I, I, I just said, like I hang up on her because, like, I don't want to talk to you about that. Yeah. But she's just like very open because she's just like it's a human thing. Like, what is there mm-hmm. to be afraid of? And her mind she's yeah. very like open and, and like about honest about things and d- doesn't mind talking about things so it's like yeah and for me i'm like mom uh, i don't yes, want to hear the shucky ducky none of that like what it does wait yeah no yeah imagine <laughs> your mom asking you that wait what and then you answer what the hell's going on here and then that's the other thing she's like oh you grown you know what i'm talking about and it's like mother i don't want to have those conversations with you she's yeah just yeah, I, listen, J.O., I, I don't and know. Again, when we were young, growing up, like, she was real open about it. Like, this is what's going to happen the first time, I'm telling you. And she just put it out there, and it's like, Mom, you just ruined. Like, I thought it was going to be a loving. Like, your parents normally tell you, like, you're going to be in love with that person. It should be somebody that you care for. It's mm-hmm. going to be a special moment. She's like, nope, this is what's going to happen. You know, you heard of the cherry thing? Yep, that's what's going to happen. And then after that, you know, you, you, you decide if you like it or not. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was, don't know. When I was growing up, I, was growing I, up, I would that. go out. I lived with my grandparents, and I would go out on a date, mm-hmm. like first date. Like I have no intentions of it's just a date, just right. go see a movie or whatever. My grandmother would call my dad and say, "Yeah, he went out on a date." Like halfway through the date, I'd get a call on my on my old ass Primeco phone. Okay. And uh, dad would be like, Did you fuck yet? I'm like, Dad, we at the movies, man. What are you <laughs> right? Like, wait, how could you? Hey, man, I mean, I guess in theory it could happen in the movie, at the movies. I was just going to say, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. know, man. Dad, yeah, dad my dad's crazy, man. He's yeah. on a whole other yeah, level. Move your tongue counterclockwise. It'll do better. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to hear that shit. I don't need to know your technique. <laughs> Yeah, there are certain See, things. See, my mom has never gotten that deep. She's never, like, given hints or techniques or none uh, of that extra stuff. She's just like, you know what it mm-hmm. is. It is time. And it's like, mm-hmm. uh, bye. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. So, 361 Dub definitely made, made it the point. I'm not going to lie. That used to be the favorite thing. Like, if you tell a girl you're going to take them to the movies. Nasty. And, and they show up with a skirt on. It's like. Nasty. Yes. Oh, you know what's up. <laughs> you, you know what's up. It's. There you go. At that point, it's on you to not fuck the rest of the night up because it's going your <laughs> you way. You got to talk yourself into the drawers and <laughs> not, not out of them. <laughs> if she show up with a skirt on, the yams are on the table yeah, and it's and up to you not to fuck it up. Ready to go. You there have you go. to talk accordingly. Right. Pick Make the sure movie. Make sure the grace is right. <laughs> Pick the movie. Pick the movie. What I, me personally, yeah. You know, nowadays I don't have these problems, man. You know, long-term committed relationship. But back in the day, make sure you have seen the movie already, so you don't have to. You know what I mean? Pay attention too Black much. Harris could... said butter in both boxes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> y'all foul! Y'all foul! <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, but this as is long missing. as you're I not love putting that relationship sugar there, Thursday. it's oh, great. Yeah. No sugar. No. Oh, That's bad. Song, no. I love that relationship Thursday brings out the jokes and you gotta you guys really show y'all oh funny side god. on relationship Thursdays. Oh my god, butter <laughs> and both. Derwin the boxes. destroyer said I just picked the longest playing movie. What no, no, you gotta pick a short movie like a good comedy or a good dumb brainless action movie where you don't have to pay too much attention. So you can focus on her. Cause again, she showed up knowing y'all going to the movies with a skirt on. So <laughs> There you go. Just don't fuck it up. Do you know not, what I mean? 
do not cut a hole in the fucking bottom of the popcorn and put your dick in it. And then when she's <laughs> reaching in there, yeah. you get your dick. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Has anyone that. did that in the chat though? I'm just Has curious. anybody done that before? Yeah, right. We ain't how about that? admit it if they have. Shit. Well, we don't know that. Where's Starry Nights? Uh, <laughs> Starry <laughs> might have met someone like that though. Exactly. Sorry. I'm telling you, poor Starry. <laughs> Look, up, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, it's one of those things. B-Brand said no, but I'm sure it works. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that probably I, would be uncomfortable. I yeah, it, it sounds very uncomfortable. Very <laughs> yeah. Just Little have the popcorn sitting in your lap with your dick in the middle of it. And they just yeah, reach right? in, grabbing popcorn like, oh, what's this? I'm like, yeah. No, keep, you're more likely to right. get her nails scratched the <laughs> scratch shit out of you because she's yeah. grabbing that popcorn up. <laughs> If it ain't the nails, it's going to be the popcorn kernels. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> what if you Some decide? Crazy motherfucker out what if she doesn't do go for it? Now you're 45 minutes in and you want some popcorn. <laughs> now what do you do? You can't eat the whole. You can't eat the whole. You can't eat the popcorn. You can't eat the, the, the yik popcorn. Yeah, you can't put your hand now in there. Now it's yik popcorn. You can't eat that. <laughs> you can't get up and go get more. You all around fucked up. Mr. IMO said, I don't eat popcorn. Oh, well. Yes, he do. He was eating popcorn at Resolution. I saw him. He had uh -oh, a box of popcorn. Uh -oh. I saw him. Uh -oh. He'd be lying to the chat. But it was ben, I don't want to need knowing about your extra flavor, Ben. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, what? <laughs> he just I sitting in there, one. just he just sitting in the popcorn leaking the whole time. Yeah, to right. To it. All excited, <laughs> all mm -hmm. excited, fucking up the popcorn. <laughs> oh my so goodness nasty. gracious! Oh my god! Just that because so you have island genes doesn't make it island flavor. Yeah, it's flavor. not tropical, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> just because like you're from Hawaii don't mean it pineapples. tastes like pineapples and shit. Like the oh popcorn boy god. tastes like pina colada all of a sudden. <laughs> What's happening? If it did, here? you guys would get your dick sucked way more. Okay. Oh my this god! Tastes, this tastes like pineapple. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh man, listen. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, yeah. Eat good, taste good. I hear you, Mister I. <laughs> Mister I M O got all the answers, man. Look at him. He's right. He is oh right. shit! Oh okay. He probably eats cheese still. Not uh, trying to hear it. If you have a good diet, it will make it taste better. Well, the, you know, see, say. so here's the best part about it. Nick, virtual fist bump. Uh, my woman's right here, so she knows exactly. She cooks it for me. So any complaints? Hey man, that's your fault. We taste the same. That's your fault. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> we eat I'll the right same back. damn meals. We right. eat the same damn meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and when you're cooking at home, you know everything that's going in there. Yep. So you know no bad oh, stuff hell. gets in the way. <laughs> only thing different is we drink different beverages. So that's the only thing. I like a lot of water, cranberry juice, tea. He likes tea, but he likes flavored tea. Yeah. And I yeah. prefer like hot tea. Green yeah, I like tea sweet tea with honey. I like green tea too, though. But uh. But cold or hot? Uh. Cold. Cold. Yeah. yeah. My hot tea. Yeah, Sorry. he's bougie with his T hot Total tea. side note, and I'm still upset Nick about this. I'm so I'm upset knows. about this. Tiavana uh, was bought out by Starbucks, mm. and um, you know that just that that fucked my life up. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. You know, people talk about being oppressed and this and that, and this and that. <laughs> when Starbucks bought Tiavana, I ain't had no following or nothing, but I was bitching like a motherfucker to anybody that would listen. Because <laughs> like he had now, just went, you guys, and bought. I'm going to say maybe a good $400 worth of like tea, machinery, all of that. So yeah. he spent a bunch of money on a tea maker. Yeah, he got all the pot. stuff. He had the loose tea. So he was ready to go. And then it was like, oh, no more Tia Vana. Yeah. And I know that there are other loose leaf tea stores. I do. But he wants But Tia Vana was special. It was something special. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. And he got the tea maker that he wanted. Yeah. But... With the Tia Vana brand. I'm going to show you all my teapot one day. I am. Okay. My teapot, when you that's find your special. It, I know out? exactly where it is. You yeah. do. I, do, I know exactly where it is. Now, all you got to do it. is put the tea in and the sugar, and that's it. You push a button, it steeps it for you, raises the basket, and everything. it's all electronic. It's some it's some, uh, some, <laughs> some Inspector Gadget shit or something. I love oh, boy, it. Boy child, boy child, that shit ain't true, man. That can't be true. What? Spend money on yourself. He said, yeah, he said, he said, you dress good, you'll get the pussy. No, not no. necessarily. No, no. Because I got the pussy. Thing about that I got is, pussy with dirt all over me before. I was dirty, yeah. sweaty than a motherfucker. But Simple was it new pussy? 
the thing is, the, no. the dirtiest See? looking guy new can pussy. possibly get a bunch of new pussy by having money in his pocket. Mm-hmm. I mean, or yeah. having little things like saying he owns his own you home, he has that? multiple cars, yeah. he can look grimy as shit. But as long but as he has certain things job. are in order, right? He it's like he has job. a job, he has stable <laughs> income. Fellas, are y'all paying attention here? The threshold for getting some pussy in 2020 nice. is you got a job. Cool, you can get the pussy. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, guys? So you don't tell even need her, a big stack. Yeah, just, just tell her you got a job. Both of them, mm-hmm. both of them agreed. Y'all heard it here first. Emerald and Rita say he got a job. <laughs> hey. So Well, yeah. allegedly, as None far of- as I know, the threshold <laughs> for these single folks these days is forty dollars. So I Oh shit, the forty dollars. I don't know about that. Have y'all heard about the whole forty dollar thing? No, uh-huh. that bar sounds low as fuck. Um, apparently, um, Yussi is available for forty dollars. Yeah, if you well, have forty dollars, you, you can, can get, get all you can get the one Yussi. sex. Yeah, it's you like can... old coins. Yeah, it's like old coins. Oh, forty dollars. An old coin is forty dollars. And you yeah. guys could actually make that happen. Now that I think about it, forty dollars mm-hmm. per old coin. Mm-hmm. It, it because yeah, people are doing that already. Again, know your worth. Hey, man, uh, maybe it's know, only worth 40 the bucks. The whole thing with all of the paper gasm and the oak coin started mm. with a kid <laughs> saying, I'll do I anything for 20 one. bucks. <laughs> don't say you'll do anything. <laughs> no, your worth. Yeah. No, so, but you may have some people on the platform who says, you know, I need 20 O coins for me to. Not each O coin know, guarantees one O. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. But, you but, know, you pay for what you get. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just so wait kidding. a minute. So wait a minute. I'm sorry because Look, we got. Look, Derwin we... the Destroyer said, is there any on the clearance rack? <laughs> <laughs> That's so the $40 wait a ones. <laughs> so wait a minute. Hold up. I, I have a question now. Um, you brought something up. Okay. And because it's Relationship Thursday, but O-Coins can definitely be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned... That, uh, you know, know your worth, et cetera, et cetera. Now, mm-hmm. I think we can all agree that um, there might be some that's only worth 40 bucks, right? High mileage, you know what I mean? Maybe not the freshest and cleanest. Well, how are, how more would y'all... than that, somebody who doesn't really know how to perform. Yeah, there you go. They could be so... high mileage, but they know how to make that money. Yeah, if they're laying there like a dead <laughs> fish. You know, doing that's, shit. that's a five dollars. I can go get a cadaver from anywhere. So how how, <laughs> how do y'all plan? How y'all plan on testing? Because y'all got to know the product that you're providing. You stand behind the old coin, Nick. You got a lot of work ahead of you. I guess that goes. No, I'm with, just kidding. Um, I'm just kidding. You can have <laughs> people Emerald, don't leave hit me. reviews as well, <laughs> so you can have someone leave their review afterwards, and whether it's a well, one remember, star, or five star. This will star. all be video because exactly. they're yeah. actresses. Yeah, oh, we're gonna yeah, have a video right. of it. We're going to have a yeah. video, and then you have a, a rating system, just so, like when you buy mean, something on Amazon. Dude, yeah. if they're just laying there, I'm, I'm going to feel bad for the person anyway. Like, yeah. male or female, saw... if they ain't doing nothing for that old well, Maybe the dude is into that shit. Maybe he just <laughs> to be Right, maybe he's like, sit <laughs> still. Yeah. Do not Don't fucking move. move. Yeah. But, move. And, uh, it, just as a cautionary tale, if a guy says he doesn't want you to move, leave now. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's probably a yeah. Warning. That's, that's really creepy. Creepy. <laughs> it's really creepy though. Here, Just can get you, the fuck so, out of there. Can you put this ice inside this you for a still, minute and lay yeah, real uh, still? Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's uh, run, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that that's scary right there. Has anybody mm. here heard of pussy Yelp? It was a real thing on Twitter. Pussy, <laughs> pussy Yelp, yo! I, I just pull up your Twitter real quick. B5 is you, looking. He he has the eyeballs. If you available. go on Twitter right now, the account is still active. Three six one dub. But it hasn't Stop posted in a while. Playing with the kids' fruit snacks for but, your sexual needs. Yeah, it's yeah, it's what? definitely in there. Okay. it's definitely in there. I just there. gotta say, yes. Lita, you might want to move your hand because now it looks like you got your hand in Nick's lap. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, and Nick's sitting right there, and I was like, "Let me." And that was just, just like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, that account is called uh, at Yelp D, at Yelp T H E. I'm looking uh, at it. They they posted oh, wait July 4th. Oh, you got a different one. I'm looking at a different one. Wait a minute. What is it at? At Yelp. Why are you looking at T H E? Ah, okay. Yeah, oh, this look, is a different this one. Just, this dude. Uh, <laughs> 
But I'm telling he you, he had a whole different one. I was at, this looks so like there's a, a page that Bill Collector was <clears throat> on. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they just thirty, my man Bill. No, Bill. Dude, <laughs> yeah, Bill Twitter Collector's feed? Twitter Come feed on. is yeah. a little crazy. It gets crazy on his Twitter feed. Yeah, Bill. Bill's Twitter is definitely uh. Yeah, Bill don't care. Let's just say that. Nope. Bill definitely he, doesn't care. And a care. BC, she fuck. is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, Bill gives zero fucks. That is, that is what they call actual factual. Bill don't <laughs> give a damn. But anyway, so thank you. Thank you, B5N. So does anybody in the chat have any stories or anything they'd like to share about talking themselves out of the panties? Before we move on to the next Before we move topic. on to the next one. I need to know. I tell you, I ain't, I ain't never fucked up. I have before. I wasn't going to tell y'all the story, but I definitely did once, too. I, Go ahead. I was a lot once? younger. Yeah, it was just once. It was just once. Oh, you don't know about the other times. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, there was this girl, and we, we used to fool around, and we had kind of gotten out of co uh, contact. We got back in touch with each other. Everything was, you know, going fine, and... <laughs> Oh, my God. This story is super embarrassing. But I'm going to tell it anyway. I don't give a shit. Uh-oh. So she had just moved into a new apartment. And, like, she moved in on the first. It's, like, the third. So I'm talking to her, and she's like, <laughs> say, Rita's going to ask later. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking to her. And, I mean, I think the only thing she had there, she had her bed and a sofa. So no other, of course, you know, dishes. But no other furniture. No TV, no nothing. And the TV is very relevant. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. I was a little excited. You know, she hit me up. And she's like, yeah, you know, something, something, something. Whatever, whatever. You know, do you want to come over tonight? So I'm trying not to talk myself out the yam. So I'm like, yeah, you know, we can watch a movie or something. Here we go. And she's like, oh, yeah, I don't have a TV or anything. My dumb ass. I got a little 19-inch flat screen I could bring. Like, you know what I mean? You want me to bring a TV with me? And, I mean, she literally laughed and was like, <laughs> no, why would you bring a TV? Now I'm trying to clean the shit up. I'm like, because I didn't want you to think that I was just coming just to, you know what I mean? And, I mean, she really was like, that's really why I called you. But this is awkward. I'm, I'm going to call you tomorrow. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> Oh my God! You didn't talk yourself out the yes. Right on out, right out. That was it. That was it. I was done, and, and I don't. I didn't talk to Shorty for a couple of months. Like she did not call me tomorrow. She didn't. She didn't call you tomorrow. And that makes me feel bad because that means she hung up with me and called somebody else that night. Oh, you don't know that now. I, I definitely now do because she didn't call know. me the next day. She didn't call me the next day. Which means that don't that, mean that she which called means somebody that, else. Yes, it do. It's Garen she fucking went teeth. to sleep. Yeah, I bet she did. She after somebody wanted it from after you. somebody else came through and, and, and did not <laughs> offer to bring a fucking sleep. TV. The yeah. man's mindset is is very toxic. Listen, well, at least she, the whole she chat didn't show agrees up with, with the TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would have been even worse. I pull up. Can you hold the door for me? <laughs> like, and I'm talking about the flat screen. Well, yeah, no flat yeah, screen. It's a wrong, 19 but... inch. She wouldn't have had to hold no door for you. You could have kicked that right on in, slid it in with your foot. Yeah, I shouldn't have been trying to slide the fucking TV in though. You That's the problem. I fucked it all the way up. Yeah, Rita. <laughs> women, women she will was, cap she was for each. She was no, she. Chick. No, you know what it is. Look, I'm, I'm looking back you on it. Dating, she was dating, too so direct. You're... When right, you're dating, dating you, you kind of you're subtle about things. But when it's just a friend with benefits, you just call him up and be like, "Yo, you want to fuck?" Yeah, and that's how that goes. Now she should have been like, "Yo, you want to fuck?" And then you yeah, uh, probably. I think they had a mutual agreement, and he was just being too nice, and she was being too. No, nice. I hadn't talked to her in a little while. I know, but that's the thing. Like you were being nice at yeah, the time. Yeah, I was time. trying like, to be I'm nice. Not, yeah. I might want to be as direct as she's being, and maybe she might want me to watch TV with her. Like you were just trying to be nice and still Man. get the yams, and that didn't work because I ain't her gonna lie. like. Listen, I didn't even want to watch TV with you. I literally wanted you to come over with no TV and no furniture. Right. Don't bring nothing but the rubbers. I, and I, I, I fucked that up, though. I definitely did. One light bulb in the crib and all that. She like, yeah. come on over, you know? <laughs> I definitely fucked that all the way up, too. That shit was... 
Darwin, to answer your question, no, that could lead to way too many felonies. So I try to stay away from anything that could get me a felony. What? <laughs> Roadhead is a felony? If you are the driver doing it to the passenger. Oh, <laughs> oh wait a minute. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Like you're steering off to the side. <laughs> yeah, how the fuck do you do that? Wait, I'm you have the you. passenger steering while you keep your foot on the, like, I don't even know how you yeah, do that. Yeah, that, that don't work. Do that as a driver. Mm -hmm. that, that could work? lead to a felony. That's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. I guess, I guess cruise control. and <laughs> No, you still got to steer. But the, the passenger can steer. Is my he, no, because your perception is off. Your perception is off, but you never know. I don't know. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, only in a Tesla. There you go. Only in a Tesla. I hear you, Derwin. Pilot. Like, Derwin sorry, talking about Rita Tesla, got it. She knows. <laughs> oh, shit. Starry. Well, so Starry. Okay. So wait a minute. So Derwin and Starry may have something going on here. Mr. I'm going to pay attention. As well. He said that he can watch the road. So, you know, I feel like they, they know what's going on. Anybody he here that knows how to drive knows that if you're in the passengers, your depth perception is it's off. Completely off. So you're completely sitting there, off. you like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Derwin, boy, I don't know what type of city, state y'all was in, what type of back road or something. I mean, I guess you can do that. You were in the middle of the desert. That's yeah, the right. There you go. Way. No yeah. oncoming traffic. Yeah. Talking about drive with you. You can't drive with your knee if you're leaned over. That's what they're saying, wrong money. You're in the driver's seat, giving shorty the the mm bop. How my man Orlando? Mm -bop, bop. Yeah, the Orlando. Mm -bop. The mm bop. <laughs> so you in the driver's seat, and you leaning over, giving her the mm bop. There's no yeah, way. No. There's no way. Not unless she's like a postal driver and is used to steering from the other side. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, there are ways, but you know. Fuck no. It's, Quill it's talking about try that on the hard. boulevard. Hell Will, to the no. You're asking for death. And I remember just... one time I was coming from this battle rap event. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. A boat, maybe. A boat, maybe. I, I ain't gonna hold you. That 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 sounds much more. That sounds safer. That sounds safer. I'll say. Water that. is very wide open, so you know. And I can swim, so shit. But anyway, all right, so. Nobody else has any stories <laughs> about talking themselves out the yams. Oh, We're my gonna goodness. Go ahead. Mr. IMO said, move up to Lincoln Drive. If you guys know about Lincoln Drive. Oh, my God. You know that he is dead wrong for even saying something like that. Yeah, Lincoln Drive up. is literally like, it's just. It's a, like this. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> That's the wrong road. Yeah, speed limit. The posted speed limit, I think, is 20, 20 miles or 25 or miles like an hour. Niggas do 40 on there. Yeah, 40, 40, <laughs> 45 might be the best you'll do. And that's, and I've lived in Philly my whole life. I can drive Lincoln Drive with the yeah. best of them. If you go any faster, you yeah. down to flip. You're, you're going to flip or you're going to switch lanes or you're going to be in the creek. Yep. That, those are your options. Yep. It's not, you're not going to get from point A to point B going faster than 45, 50 miles an hour. So, yeah, I do too, Quill. I hate when people, you can always tell people who don't, Live uptown and no Lincoln Drive. Oh my God. And that's crazy. the way they go. Like, you can always tell. It's just, they be in that lane and they, it's four fucking lanes, but the street's this wide. Like, yeah, so it's, it's crazy. But anyway, all right, so let's move on. Y'all had a couple of other topics. Other topics. I can't remember which other. So one. the next one that was upvoted, move it over a little bit more. I think it was. Next one that was upvoted was number 42. Or no, I'm sorry. This was 44. 42. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, this ought to be go good. And let me get rid of these pins. Yeah, hold on. This ought to be good. And this one still relates, I'm sure, to, to 20 plus years of marriage or a very first date. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> sorry, I just want to <laughs> make sure I got this right. Worth. On a date. <laughs> Is it okay? Mr. What B, don't Mr. do that to saying? your Ducati now. I need a passenger I mean, from my bike for an experiment. He said oh, bike. Shit. It's a Ducati. Oh, Those geez. go really fast. <laughs> He's thrill seeking. Yeah. I like roller coasters. I can't do I can't do motorcycles, man. I can't. King the car is my shit though. But yeah, I can't I can't do motorcycles. There's something about them. Um all right. 44. If you're on a date on your phone. Is that acceptable? And Damn. so for our for our 
younger folk, we mean talking, texting, Instagram, Instagramming, Facebook Twitter, Facebook, Facebook all of that. Be on the table. That's Hell what I'm no, talking that shit about. Should be on. That sh- the the ringer, the vibrate, all should be off. Period. I agree. I agree. Period. I agree. Oh, here we go. Oh. Jeffrey, it depends. <laughs> No, I can, no, give me the situation. No, no <laughs> so, yeah. are you are you on call as a paramedic, a nurse, a surgeon, a firefighter? firefighter. You know, if you're on call as a first yeah, responder, it, okay, it needs to be something call important. In the IT and department be, in the you got to know that levels. It better be your yeah, job. Yeah, but that yeah. should be stated at the very you know beginning of the date. Like, hey, I'm medical personnel. Just so mm-hmm. you know, if I do get a page, you should know that before the why. date. No, well, yeah, I mean, here's should, the thing: yeah. you should that... know that. Yeah. But sometimes emergencies happen, and it's like, hey, I have a pager for work. Yeah. No. I mean, it we, is what it is. Pagers is but, one thing, and that's the thing. Doctors and nurses have pagers. Mm-hmm. They don't need a phone. Yeah, put your fucking phone, phone down. Pager is what they because your pager will go off, and that's stop, what you say stop. at the beginning of the date. I'll leave yeah. my phone away, but I have a pager. It'll go off if they need me, and then Man, you leave it at that. I ain't with none of that bullshit. Because stop if, taking if we, a picture of your fucking food and posting right. that shit. Stop right. fucking right, <laughs> right. It ain't that because you know this is what I always say. You're taking the pictures of your food, right, and you're gonna post them. Why? All you're doing is inviting people to say, oh, where you at? Can you bring me a plate? Et cetera, et cetera. Man, fuck that. Now, I'll do it when Rita, because I know people sitting there like, wait a minute, Anwar, you just posted breakfast on Twitter the other day. But Rita was saying, so our Twitter's Twitter's a little wild. There's this thing about sugar or salt and grits. And the, the... The thickness of grits and how long they should be cooked. Yeah, how long they should cook. Some people say 10 minute grits are 10 minutes, and some people like them like runny almost, like watery. And it's 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 a mess. It's not sugar, it's salt. But um, so she made them and she had, she literally said, you could put that on the timeline. Like I quote, whatever she said, I quoted it. (laughs) Oh shit, I see you, J.O. But uh, no, it's salt, 361 dub. Hold up, wait a minute. Nick, salt or sugar in your grits? No grits. No grits. I don't eat that. <gasps> okay. Oh, yeah. See? No grits. Wow. I'll I eat can't do grits. Salad, I'll grits, eat. You have to have them cooked. Look, here. I'm about to, I'm about to fuck like y'all's how perspective long do they? Them. How long do they cook them, though? But well, if you don't eat them at all, it don't matter. Well, yeah. I mean, sometimes people <laughs> have a bad experience with grits, and they'll say, I'll never oh, have them no. again. It's, yep, it's that's a, my experience. It's a texture thing. That's my experience. Okay. It's a visual thing and a texture thing. Okay. I didn't know this until later in life, but grits look just like yeast infection, so I can't do it. <laughs> eh, look, I don't think so. Look, I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rihanna. Just well, like, just like cottage cheese, just yeah, like fucking cottage cheese, just like fucking what is that? Cottage ricotta cheese, cheese looks like ricotta. Like, Cottage yeah, cheese and ricotta cheese looks very similar. Grits should not look like that. Grit, it, Your grits should be table. thick. They should be thick, but yeah, they should I'm not, with you, Rayana. They Go shouldn't ahead. be <laughs> like that. They shouldn't be clumpy. I don't even know what to say. Like next time she make grits, I'm gonna just put it on the timeline. Rita got a yeast uh, infection. I'm, yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm like, wait, what? With Rayana, like, no, I just want to throw the whole computer away. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm about to get rid of this AirPod. Ugh. So, <laughs> oh my god! No, I, all, I have, of us, all of us I in our house never, are somewhat I've never OCD, liked the taste of grits. I've and we never have liked different it. little. You probably little. didn't have them cooked right. I know down right. in the south, they like to use that yellow cheese or that I mean that orange yep. cheese. And I don't. You have to have white American don't cheese. Don't put you no have fucking cheese in the grits. Go ahead. Yes, put cheese in a. They grits. do that he shit. They cheese. do that. I know. Um, but the white American cheese is what you have to use, which is not actually a real cheese. It's ahead. not, but it's very fucking tasty. Um, it's the best <laughs> cheese in Whatever the world. Whatever the fuck if, it is. If, listen, what is pasteurized cheese? Listen, <laughs> right. it is. It is cheese, but it's young cheese, basically. Young it's, bruh. it's not like. A boy I'm child, Mister IMO, about to be mad yeah, at you. But you have to make sorry. them salty. Um, I actually have a friend, you know him, um, that I work with, and he had no idea. He's from Russia. He had no idea what the hell a grit was. He's like, "What's a grit? Like what?" And I explained this to him, and we used to go to this diner every morning before work, 
And he finally tried them. He's like, I'm going to try them one day. And he tried them. And he's like, yo, this is the best shit I ever had. Like, they're cooked right. I told him, like, they have to be cooked right. And you have to have the yeah. cheese on top. You have to throw the salt, the pepper, extra little piece I of butter in I ain't here for none of that. Listen. And he, he's been addicted ever since. So now his thing, he goes to the diner and he tells me, he'll say, look, I, I get those fucking grits Thank all you, the Gata. time. Thank you, Gata. So listen, this is my thing. Nick, I, so I do eat grits. But I'm with you. With the whole, I'm just not fucking doing it. People, I, I love when people, when you tell somebody, like, listen, I had it. It just ain't it. Okra is my thing. I had okra when I was oh, little. Okra. People, oh, hell yes. Listen, no, see, no, hell no. I had okra yeah, when I was little. Time I had and okra, I don't give I a said f- no until I had it fried. See, that, but that's the thing. There was never that until because the first time, and I've had people. You didn't want to try the crawfish for the first time because the, the when, right, the, when that, they did the demonstration, it yeah. was you break it here, right? <laughs> you uh-huh. suck then you the suck head. the, and he was like, Wait, oh no, no, no I got, can't suck no head out of nothing. And I'm like, just do it. Like, I ain't sucking nothing with the shit. name head like, on I'm it. I'm not doing that. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> it was a mental block, bro. It was when they said, because the thing is, I had been to New Orleans plenty of times. And they smell so. There's a fucking place. I'll tell everybody here. It's on Bourbon Street. The name of the restaurant is called Saints and Sinners. Yeah, mm-hmm. the best shit ever. It. Oh my god, you walk in there and it smells so fucking good. And I had had mm-hmm. crawfish before, and I told him like, "There's nothing to be scared of. You mm-hmm. break it here." I like you seafood. Suck the juices, and he he's like, "What?" So when we sat down, Papa do crawfish the, is not. Mm-mm. When they did the mm-mm. example, he's like, "I'm not doing that." Right. <laughs> Because the thing is, see, Rita, Rita telling the story all abbreviated and shit. I'm not. You just said he, the, 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 I told you about that part and you're like, I'm not doing that. But I don't think you'd really believe me no. until the, no. the person showed I, I was showed A-OK us. with trying. Because remember, I bought it. I Rita that. describing it and she's like, you know, <laughs> the juices and everything. I'm like, oh, all right. So I'm like, but I still don't quite get it. And, and Rita. I vaguely described it. Rita's one of those people. drink the juices as well. Yeah, Rita, one of them people, I know somebody or I did it. And then you'd be like, all right, well, give me details. What? So she like, yeah, all you got to do is is you break them and the juices, like, it's all inside. All right, whatever. So they smell so good. We go in and I order the, the pound of them. It was like 11 bucks. The lady brings it out. She sits it on the table, and it's smelling just as good as outside. But I'm looking at them like they look like little baby lobsters. That's what they look like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Rita, go ahead and have one. Oh, I don't want any. So I got a whole pound of some shit that I ain't never had before. Now, you're I not going to eat I one? I something different. No, you didn't order a damn thing. The only thing on that table was that fucking bowl. No. So, I, yes. I, wait, what Listen, I remember about? when we went to Saints. The Saint, so... I think anyway, we ate that together, but there was another time I think we went. Anyway, uh, let me finish really my Really quickly, story. we met a little stripper girl, so we I think we met up with her. Yeah, no, this I was before that. This was before that. Yeah, was on we the first... ate that together. We ate it together. So you didn't know if you wanted them. You're like, I'll order one. I'm going to let you tell Rita, the story. you can eat it. If I don't like it, you can finish eating them. That's mm-hmm. what happened, you guys. Not that I didn't order no, a fucking so, thing. Right, he didn't, didn't know if he wanted no, the crawfish what to I'm begin saying? with. So when I they came, <laughs> I said, Rita, have one. Why you couldn't have one? Because I don't even know how to eat. No, before that. how to do it. You Before asked. that, when Rita said, <laughs> oh, I don't want any. I'm like, well, I, I don't even know how it. to eat it. He asked the lady immediately. So I asked the waitress. How do you eat this? How do you eat them? So she's like, oh, they're fine. All you got to do. So she's, you pick it up. You squeeze the body. You twist the tail. Oh, all right. She's like, then all you do is you suck the head and you grab the meat. Wait. Suck the head and grab the what? Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not sucking the head and grabbing the meat of absolutely hey, you, they fucking. Gotta change, they got to change that terminology. Bruh. When I said that suck was it. anything to that begin was with it. for him, he that was, was like, it. no, 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 I can't do that. So I just left it alone. So when yeah. the lady described it to him. <laughs> exactly, like, B5N. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Now imagine that. And mind you, this was all mental for me. Because. I'm there with just Rita, right? We're, it's fucking New Orleans. We don't know anybody. But in my mind, I'm like, if somebody heard that and then see it, and they go back to my neighborhood, and they like, yeah, I saw Amor on Bourbon Street uh, uh, sucking the head and grabbing little, the meat. Little freak body young boy. Yeah, like, I, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's that. I, now, I gotta, now I gotta move to fucking Colorado or Idaho or some shit. I'm cool. And it wasn't until... Um, I ended up going back 
with <laughs> one one of my other friends with with Bobby. Yeah. Um, he's Asian. Now Bobby, he he's he's Laos, and I me and him are really really good friends, and we would always go out to regular fucking places to eat. Okay, I'm Applebee's, I have shit like that. Well, his daughter was turning some special age in, in his uh in his culture. So he invited me to the birthday party at his parents' house. Oh, I know how this goes. Bro, listen, I should have known <laughs> when he was telling me his parents don't speak English that this was about to be a whole different side of some shit. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I got there and it was so it's just a spread of shit on the table. I'm sorry, and it's you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the ice cream truck is rolling by. This show. It's 10 o'clock. It's about that time. <laughs> They're driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, boy child. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you pulling up. But, um, yeah, man, it was food everywhere. And, and it just, it was just a, it was a traumatizing experience. But I will say that everything other than the live shit, Cause I was there wasn't nobody gonna talk to me and eat no the live shit. They had uh, it was like these little baby fucking octopus, mm-hmm. and they wrapped them on chopsticks and ate them whole. I'm not fucking doing that. Nope, I, it, it ain't gonna happen. Look, but, Rihanna's like you eat them alive. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like little. Oh, y'all know about? Listen, yeah. I had never even heard of this mm-hmm. shit, let alone seen it. Mm-hmm. And everybody's there doing oh, it. Oh, Adabisi said they're good. Oh my god, I'm cool. Adabisi, you know what? Salute to you, my yeah. brother. But I can't. I'm gonna make sure you don't ever run out. If it's only one left, you got it, bro. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so we so he and I decided to take a road trip to New Orleans because he had never been. We drive down. And he brings up his daughter's birthday, like, yo, bro, you done been down here many times, whatever, whatever. Whatever type of food shit somebody say we gotta try, we gonna have it. Alright. That's a mistake. I had oysters, Rockefeller. I'm A OK with it. They grill with the cheese and bacon and all that. Fucking slamming. Then they was like, we got shucked live oysters. Just put some hot sauce. On. Yeah. No, so you mean I don't get a grill for those? I don't get a steamer in front I, of my no, nose? No, you pack the shell and straight out the, them out straight the, out the shell. Yeah. Oh, so the good slimy news is. And it's gross. like snot. It's like fucking yeah. s- like sniffing your nose. It's like yeah, it's like when you throat. cough, but mm-hmm. you didn't quite get it out. That's it. Fortunately, That's exactly it. fortunately, <laughs> Bobby wasn't feeling that shit either. Like he had one. It was like, oh, no, that ain't it. But later on that night, he had he had, had crawfish before. So we end up at this place, Saints and Sinners, <laughs> same fucking place. And, and he talked me into the crawfish. I still wasn't doing the whole suck the head part, but I cracked the tail off and, and, and got the, the part out of the tail. There you go. So, yeah, that, that actually did happen. And from there, I'm okay with it now. I've been actually looking for a New Orleans-style crawfish boil since then. We're not going to find it, though. We're just going to have to go back down there. Um, flights are super cheap, though. Um, oh, Rita, y'all heard it here on the stream, right? Rita just volunteered to get us flights to New Orleans. For super cheap. So, for super cheap. Y'all heard it. She he said it. the hotel. I'm calling it official. Like, fuck that, bro. We, <laughs> we need a sofa to sleep on. Mm. No, because you, I don't know. We can't sleep on nobody's Anyway. Sofa. All right, so Anywho, back yeah, to the back topic to the phones, of phones being phones on a date. So um, during dates, is it a um, deal breaker for Nick? me? I don't oh, mind right. it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Mm-hmm. If it was, you know, a I'm date? like addicted to my phone. On like a date? a date? No, that's the that's biggest, biggest disrespectful. Breaker. Yeah, that shit. is. Thank so you. Like, usually, oh, I like to go on dates that are pretty active, so I shouldn't have my phone. But if we're sitting at a dinner table, oh yeah. I'm taking pictures of the food. I might take a selfie. I might ask you, do you want to join me in a picture? Like, I'm going to be on my phone. I'm just, like, mm-hmm. addicted to my phone at this point in time. But I've been on, like, a date where I've gone to play racquetball. So it's like we're playing racquetball. I can't be in my phone at that point in time. I was on my phone. When? When I went to play racquetball. You weren't with me, hon. I know. That was the whole point. You was texting me, though. No, oh, I wasn't. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Phone, phones on an actual date. Unless you are a married couple who's having fun in the text in the restaurant with each other. Oh, no. okay. We do that. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely been a yeah. thing. I've definitely. You no, know, because that's fun. 
Yeah. Yeah, we'll text each other and say even, little things. Ooh, I like that, that, Derwin. I like that. That's a new one. Derwin says, first one to grab their phone pays. I'm about to be oh, all shit. types of free food. All types of free food. I'm getting nah, steak you're... and lobster. Watch. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You can get steak and lobster anyway. Yeah, it, that but... doesn't even just apply for like for dates like you apply that shit to like family dinner too mm -hmm. i see yeah. motherfuckers out like going out to eat and everybody on their phone sitting at the table yeah i agree with that Doing. though like if you're out in a in a social setting especially with like a group of people it should yeah. be conversation you have now you have a, a bunch of people at the table to converse with why are you in your phone and i can maybe you know give people a pass for like taking a picture of their food but after that let's talk to each other and let's interact instead of being on social media or being in our phones. That's the whole point of exactly. going out with a mm -hmm. bunch of people. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, I, I agree with Nick. It's super disrespectful because for real, for real, what that's saying, in my opinion, is I need something to entertain me. Yeah, you're not like, interesting you're not, enough. Yeah, you're not interesting enough. You aren't more interesting than Facebook or Twitter or Whatever, you know what I mean, is going on. For for you, it's, you know, that's what's more important or more interesting. You don't agree, Adebisi? Explain. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this one. All right, go ahead and explain. Get them fingers to type in, bro. I know one thing Anwar has definitely, over the years, he's told me, like, look, you got to put your phone away. Like, boy, what are you doing here? And it's like come on now like give me a break but i do understand where he's coming from so i have started putting my phone away on dates but he pulls his phone i'll wait until he pulls his phone out first and then i pull mine out and then he'll notice that i have mine out and he'll say something about it and then we both agree to put our phones away <laughs> yeah but see because the other thing is this i will say this i am good for this if my phone goes off more than once then i'm gonna check it that's usually yeah. what i'll do so yeah. i'll look well, what the hell was that? And my phone is kids, always going off. So if yes. you got kids, that's that's like a hold on. If yeah. you got if you got older kids, they need to put the damn phone away too and have family talk. Yeah. But okay. if if they're little, they probably need to be entertained sitting at a damn dinner table with a bunch of grown folks. Yeah. yeah. So I oh, get yeah. that. So there's yeah. you know if but even with my kid when we go out with my kid he's not allowed at the table with the phone like at a certain point in time it's like put the phone away we're getting ready to eat you need to interact mm -hmm. with us if there's something for you to color here at this restaurant like color that let's play the game on the paper like you're not going to sit here on your phone that's not why we came out right exactly um but if you're out on a date and it's you know just a date and you one of you has a child then obviously there's considerations to be made for that if, if yeah. your kid's being watched by a babysitter oh I mean, man guys if y'all date a girl and she bring her kid on the date you ain't getting you ain't getting shit man well you never know sometimes the kid goes to sleep on Don't their you ride home you know and you, and you can bring them in the house and you can take their clothes off while they sleep lay them down and then you you got you time I ain't with <laughs> right that. I, I me personally i'm just not everybody's with not with it and i get that yeah. too some people are not like you know they don't feel comfortable um yeah, that's just doing awkward. things with with the child in the home especially during a dating phase right that's just awkward but then on the other hand some people you yep. know they they take their dating like when they're dating somebody they take it so serious that they're willing to move on to that next step of kind of like a family type of situation where but for me it's like because for me it's weird too but i get what you're saying oh okay yeah i just ain't with it i yeah. I, I don't and the dating phase you bring a kid with you that's just weird. And the flip side to that is even if it's like, all right, you know, she's saying like, oh, I got to bring my cat. I couldn't get a sitter, but I really wanted to see you, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. at, at the end of the date, like you can't be like, all right, I'm going to just go put little, you know, the kid to bed. Then we're going to have our time. Like that's awkward. Like I, I just me personally, I, I I'd be it. sitting there like. Like, wait a minute. So because that's just I, what you do. Right. You don't I even care. Like, you really going to fuck with your kid right there? Right. Like, And I feel like it's important to know when you're dating somebody with kids, when when it's time to be able to say, hey, let's take the kid to a place and let's all three hang out. Like, you, 
everybody mm-hmm. should know when that that time has come and be able to say, hey, let's let's all three go out together. Let's meet and hang Thank out. Thank you, Wrong Money. Thank you. Thanks for pulling and up, And not man. have it be an awkward situation all the time where it's, hey, this person has to get a babysitter or that one. You both have to get a babysitter maybe. And <laughs> it, it makes things a lot harder when you're dating and both parties have to get a babysitter. But when you have both parties willing to say, hey, you know, we've reached that point. Let, let's have the kids meet. And let's Mm -hmm. maybe go to Sky Zone or something like that where the kids are kind of occupied, not really paying you guys any attention, but you guys still get to spend time with each other. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And also, I don't know. That's okay, but that's that's like the first introduction for children. Right. Right. That's a play date. You got to be very. I get that. Conscious of how you do that. Uh, Nick and I both had children when we met. Uh, So. And they, they were very, Cat and Trent were born, both born in 1996. Yeah, the, the so. last thing you want is, are you my new mommy? Are you my new daddy? Yeah, if you got yeah, right. Man, that, that makes you might want to think about the person that you're with, because if that kid's asking that, they had too many people around that kid. Yeah, exactly. stuff like that is a problem. Yeah, I just, you know, it, yeah, that that's just. Yeah, that that right there is weird. Like it's if, a red if flag. the kids are, yeah, if the kids are like, interested more interested in like who is this guy or who is this girl then you know that's a red flag immediately like you know there's been a lot of people around there trying to figure mm-hmm. out who's this new character how long is this person going to be let me fill them out to yep. see if i even like them and if i should waste my time on them like being invested right that's just that's just that's not the move because mm-hmm. if you if again you know kids in a relationship that's a whole separate topic because oh, yeah. you know you have to be I always say kids are innocent. Mm -hmm. So it's our job to protect them from everything. And that includes getting their little feelings hurt. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Which also includes growing attachments. Our son just went through a breakup with a girl who had, she has a couple of kids. And her son had grown very attached to Trent. And the both of them, the, the breakup, it was so much more and the mom just didn't get it her kid was really hurting and it was hard to watch because she didn't understand that her son had just found you know this this man figure that he really liked and looked up to and she Mm -hmm. just yanked him away and you know it they they shouldn't have been together you know they needed to be apart but you know she didn't handle it quite that well and it was hard uh, it was hard for Trent too. He had gotten attached to the kid. Yeah. So you know you got to watch out for those things when you're dating. If if you don't have kids and you're dating someone with kids, you better know yourself really well. So yeah. did you did you encourage him to try to maintain a relationship with the kid or no? Was it because kinda... it was too toxic with the mom. Like okay. they had, they were oil and water. And so it was just not, he had to completely step away. And oh, okay. it was, it was just really hard for him. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. That, that sucks big time. Like that really. And then for the kids again, because they're innocent, they don't know what's going on. They get this attachment mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. they have it pulled away. And that's um, mm-hmm. a lot of times that's a lifelong trauma. Right. You know? It can be. Yeah. Because you figure if he got Abandonment attached. Abandonment issues. Yeah, if he yeah. got attached to to your son, you know, being a little presumptuous, it it leads me to think that you know his biological dad might not have been around or as active. No, he isn't. Yeah, yeah. He's so not really part of it. So now that's... it's it's two men. You know, how come mm-hmm. they didn't want me around? Kind of exactly. thing. Yeah, and that can yeah. be. Yeah, that that that's a that's a therapy session for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So it's yeah. just things you have to be conscious of that. You know, when you're when you're young and single and you don't have kids, you don't think about it. Mm-hmm. So, but when once you start to date someone with kids, you need, you've got to you know educate yourself. Yeah. You yeah. make sure he's got his dad involved. See, that's good because yeah. if you can be friends with the other parents and get along, if everybody that's can set their egos aside, yeah, yep. Uh, it's and I can, better. <laughs> I can admit, you know that that does. That's a level of maturity that it sometimes takes people, you know, a while to get to. My son, I mean, he's grown now, but me and his mom split up when he was like five or six. 
And she started dating somebody else. And initially it was like, man, fuck him. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit about him. Uh, like, I was always in my son's life. But it was like, <laughs> you know, so when mean. he started, like, when they had been dating for, you know, a year or two. And he lived out of state. So he would drive <laughs> up. He'd spend a week or so. And it's like, what you mean he's staying at your house for a week? Well, where's my son going to be? And it's like, he's going to be here. That's where he lives. No, fuck that. And But it got to a point. And I'd probably say about a good three years into their relationship where I had to say to myself, like, hold up. He's obviously going to be around. Mm -hmm. He Mm -hmm. seems to be a good guy. He's got his own kid. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if he's doing the right thing, me being mean to him or, or, you know, kind of treating him like shit, it's not like I still wanted my son's mom. So it's like I was really doing it just to be an asshole. So, you know, I kind of had to say to myself, like, all right, I'm, I'm just being an asshole here. And it's not fair. It's not fair to him, his, uh, you know, uh, my son or my son's mom. And now, like, I mean, they're still together now. They've been married <laughs> fucking forever, it feels like. And, like, we're cool. Like, me and him will have conversations. You know, we'll talk about my son. We talk about his daughter. And we talk about regular shit. I mean, He's yeah. a Ravens fan. I'm an Eagles fan. So that always gets fun, you know, during football <laughs> season. So, you know, shit like that. So, you know, that, that level of maturity does sometimes take a minute to reach. Uh-huh. But mm-hmm. I would encourage anybody that's in the chat, if you're in that type of situation, realize and remember that it's not about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. It's about the children. So put your egos yeah. aside. Yeah. Start with the drama. Yep. You're not hurting anybody but those kids, and I've I've got a kid. No matter who how bad you in, want to punk that motherfucker. Yeah, I got right. a kid who wound up in the middle of so much because her dad just couldn't set it aside, and it was horrible for her. Yeah. And so you don't you just can't do that. You've got to be you've got to be the representation of what you want them to be. Yeah. Shout out to Adam BC in the chat. Um, he's he's saying like he would call the dad for disciplinary action. He would pick the dad up, you know, so that the, the father could go to the park or to games and things like that. That's that level of maturity and openness that is not mm-hmm. usually seen. Right. Um, and that a lot of people actually need. And, and sometimes mm-hmm. the, the father or the absent father or the absent mother may need that little bit of push. Somebody to tell them they like, do. hey, it's OK. Like, you know, yo, you guys did not work out. But listen, you have a child. It is what it is. We're going to make sure that the kid is okay at the end of the day. Right. Because at the end of the day, kids don't ask to be here, man. It's our fault for not pulling out or her fault for not popping her pill. Either way, (laughs) it ain't the kid's fault. Or the pill just failed. Just I've heard stories. The pill fails. The patch fails. And condoms fail. I have them all here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you goodness. You can say hi to them every day, huh? Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't understand what you're saying. What should a man do when a woman ain't handling herself properly? Yeah, I was going to so ask that, too. So is that your idea of how she's supposed to handle herself? Oh. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. You got to get into that one, uh, yeah, gonna, Don gonna, DeMarco. I'm going I'm to back. Back up a little bit. Yeah. yeah, you might want to rephrase that one, Don DeMarco. Um, <laughs> we can go deep on this one, but you might not like my answers. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to know what he meant too. I did see that. I was sure enough going to read it. Like I need to know what he meant. Right, page. I, I'm crazy. assuming that that the question was just phrased poorly. Mm-hmm. What should a man do when a woman ain't handling herself properly? Yeah, you got to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Think about what you want to say. Uh, like, yeah. I'm, and yes, I, know immediately I was very fertile. What's, what's about to be, I know immediately what's about to be said. Like, who who the fuck are we? Yeah, to so Starry's on the same path with me. Um, you know, attitude should be or 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 action should if be. If you don't like her attitude, leave. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got to be with her. If you don't like the way she talks, the way she dresses, the way she walks, the way she cooks, fucking leave. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play devil's advocate and say maybe he meant if she's not handling herself like as a mother in, in the in the frame of what we were talking about. Okay. Like the mom isn't, you know, handling herself. Oh, she's, she's doing like, all the drama stuff? Yeah. The so best it's like, you can do is stand up and be the one 
that does the right thing as much as possible. Never say a bad word Ever. about her. Ever. Ever. Yeah. To yeah. the kids, yep. anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yep. let them hear you talk you, shit. You make sure that kid knows, oh, your mom loves you. Yeah. I know your mom loves you. Yep. I'm and with that 100%. That's the way you leave it. You could be yeah. pissed off at them all day and all night, but they don't They don't need to hear about it. Hey, Sly Shoof. Sly, Sly Shoof. Shoof. What up, Sly? Hey, Sly. All right. There you go. See, that's the part I got to get to. I try to say the whole names and then figure it out. It's like, nah, that's hooked yeah. on we know Sly. I just say part hooked, of the name. Hooked on phonics ain't built for the internet. <laughs> I, just, I just find like the best, like the best part of the name and just say that. Like the easiest part to say. She's being too friendly with other men, making you look bad. Okay. So this is your girl? This is your girl. You think she's being fr too friendly with other men. You don't like how she talks to other men? There's a door. Why are you so insecure, bro? I mean, yeah. you, don't have yeah. to, you don't have to put up with that if that's, that's the case. And, and, and if she's being totally innocent <laughs> in doing it, because me, I was the dingbat that never thought anything of it. And my husband was like, yo. <laughs> Uh, you know, quietly behind closed doors, no argument, no nothing, yeah, just but he explain. Would, he was like, you know, this looks like you're flirting. I was like, what? Because <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't yeah. think anything of it. I was being nice. Yeah, I can see that. That's uh, and the thing for me. Like sometimes um, females, we we don't necessarily want to cause a scene. We don't want things to go left. So we'll kind of downplay a situation and just let it slide. Like, you know, it, it is what it is. Let's move on from this because at the end of the day, you know, you, you know who you're going home to, things like yeah, I'm that. I'm with you, J.O. So it's like. No, there is a. There and is when a I, wait, <laughs> J.O., when I say causing a scene, I mean, if. If a female feels, you know, something, <laughs> let's say their response to something happens to be really negative, and right. now that pulls their guy into that situation because now they're yeah. arguing with the dude. Okay. That's causing a scene. That makes that now that's a scene at that point in time, and your dude has to now defend you no matter what, and that takes things to the next level. So sometimes us females, we will brush things off as mm -hmm. to avoid all of that confrontation and argument Absolutely. of course with men and their egos you guys' egos are crazy mm -hmm. so if you feel like you know something is wrong with your girl it's like hey we're gonna go next level with it but us females we try to protect not only you guys we try to protect the household as well make sure everything is secure so we're just gonna brush that off because that's something you know light to a giant mm -hmm. And, and you know everybody can go home yeah. at the end of the night and be happy and you know unless he grabs your tits, you can laugh about it with pen. your dude <laughs> right. right right but you can go home and you can kind of laugh about that with your dude like oh my god this crazy shit happened or whatever and or vice versa if it's something that your guy doesn't like you guys have that conversation and it's like hey you know i didn't like this i didn't like that let's move forward in a different way i think you know and, and i'm gonna apologize if i'm wrong i apologize in advance but looking at it, mm -hmm. I think Don DeMarco might have been a troll account. And Don DeMarco was definitely a troll. I noticed I, it originally, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think I think he was trying to allude to uh, the controversial <laughs> shit that Rita and I had go had going on uh, a couple weeks ago. And this is what I'm going to say. Um, you know, we already put out a blog on it, but from the relationship Check standpoint. Check that out on YouTube. Yeah, from the relationship standpoint. Um, I get a lot of flack about, oh, Rita did this, Rita did that. And and it's about, I look at it as a security thing. And it's usually you know? from people who aren't outside. So people who don't know what the environment is, people who cannot imagine, um, you know, being in certain situations and how those situations may happen. So let's be clear about True. that. Like I'm one, I'm, I'm a female who happens to do a lot of things with her boyfriend and there's a lot of guys around. Me and him cannot stay, you know, attached by the hip the whole night. No matter what, we're close by each other. But we can't stay attached by the hip the whole night. He mingles, I mingle, we all speak to everybody. But everything is always pretty much, for the most part, everything is is literally battle rap. So, Well, and also, in... Nick and I also do not do the PDA thing very much. The most you might ever see is us stand very close to each other, and I might grab his hand. Right. And see, I'm or not. He might really put his hand on my back, either. and and that's just 
our private life is our private life. You don't need right. to yeah. see that in front of you. I can and be all the freak thing. I want to in the ba- in the bedroom. Right. I don't need you to see it. <laughs> right. right. You know? And I feel like it's kind of like people kind of asking for kitty porn in a way when they're like, hey, you guys should kiss or you guys should do that. And, and it's like, why are we doing this on camera? Like, are you guys looking for kitty porn? Because that shit is like out there. Like you guys can watch people kiss on television shows all day long. Why do you guys need to see us do that? Like, why do you need to see us in our private moments and our mm-hmm. personal moments and our intimate moments? It's unnecessary when we're out and we're having fun. We're having fun when we decide to have our private intimate moments. That's when we have them. But that's not mm-hmm. for everybody. But that's just what the word is. Intimacy. Right. Yeah. It's right. intimate. That's, mm-hmm. that's not something that the world needs to know. To, to an opposite point people go in their different directions at a party and mingling. You know, if if you're over there talking to somebody and you're grabbing her arm and y'all are touching and shit like that, then that's a whole other story. Yeah. That's red flags in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I can see that's, that. That's too. those little subtle, those little subtle things that people do that they don't really think about it subconscious saying, "Yeah, I, I want to fuck this dude or fuck this chick or whatever." The it's, ownership it's a, the ownership, subtle ownership stuff. If you yeah. are good together and you have good communication and you have trust in each other, you don't, it's it's not a thing. I mean, right. we, when Nick and I go out, 90 times out of 100, Nick's out walking around talking to everybody and I'm sitting somewhere in a corner with a book because I just don't do people very much. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's, you don't and I'm have either to be like left that. of the spectrum or right. Either I'm, not at all whatsoever interested in being around people give me my bud i will roll up and smoke in a corner somewhere leave me the fuck Mm -hmm. alone or i'm going to have a whole bunch of conversation with people and i'm going to laugh and have fun and it's going to be a very entertaining night so it depends on where i'm at that night and yes you guys i'm a cancer i'm very moody the ocean controls my my life Mm -hmm. for real for real the ocean and the moon um but yeah like i'm either on either end of the spectrum so sometimes i'm like hey let's have fun i'm going to chat with everybody i'm going to be you know um i'm going to be more of a i'm going to be more entertaining so to speak as opposed to being balled up in a corner and everybody's like where is she why is she so weird she's not speaking to anybody she and normally when that happens people literally go to She's bougie. She thinks she's better than everybody. And I'm like, I don't. You just haven't talked to me yet. <laughs> yeah, I get that sometimes, too. And I I just look at them and I'm just like, do you have something intelligent to say? If we can have an intelligent conversation, then okay. Because if you're going to go there, I'm going to go there. And I get that's more usually hate for getting... even asking them, do they want to have an intelligent conversation? At that point, <laughs> they think I'm just being an asshole. And I'm like, eh. oh, I am being an asshole when I do that. <laughs> yeah. And, and most times I'm being genuine. I'm like, if we really have if we can really have great conversation about something that matters or something that, you know, both of us are interested in, mm-hmm. that's fine. But if I'm fine over here in my corner, let me stay in my corner with my Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw baby. a question. Oh yeah, you saw it. <laughs> that's a hard question. I that that's you guys, but I'm gonna tell you, if you're in that situation, man, you may want to reevaluate your life. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, uh, Nick. You want to handle that one, or you want me to go first? If your <laughs> wife you cheated handle- on you and had a child, Whew. that's rough, man. Yeah, I hope you're not going barrel. through that. I hope you're not going through that. Uh, I. I can't imagine. Well, I got to ask. I got to ask. There's, there's, man, that's a hard one. Are there extenuating circumstances? Like, are y'all still in love? I mean, maybe she strayed because you weren't around enough or maybe, yeah, you know, you gone people, for six months yeah, if you're gone for a long ass time or you're never home, you're gone 25 hours, you know, 20 hours a day at work or some shit. I get it. I understand. BB, you're not, BB said people would not be getting the attention. If drugs is the extenuating circumstance, oh, that, that's you got uh, plenty of red flags in that word right there. Yeah. yeah. Neither that's of you should bye. be in a relationship with bye. each other, with anybody. If that's if drugs are the problem, you need to go work on you. Yep. Right. And go do you. Go do you. Yeah. Because I, that's I, not No, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a people who in my experience, 
a lot of people who use drugs are looking to fill a emptiness inside of themselves. And you can't truly be with someone until you understand that that emptiness is yours, you own it, and you feel it yourself. That's and they also have so many feel-good chemicals popping mm -hmm. off in their brain all the time that they're that they literally do. seeking a feel good. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at that point in time, they, they don't have no real uh, mind control over what they're doing. Mm -mm. They're just chasing a feel good. I would like to feel good. I want to get high. That's why people get addicted. Most times they want to get that they chase that feeling. So in the same thing for sex along with drugs, mm -hmm. um, they feel that for the first time and they're like, I, I need that again. So then they're chasing that. They chase both of them. Um, yeah, drugs, drugs and sex release the exact same chemicals in your brain. They yeah. incite, yep, yeah. so they incite the same So doing drugs and things. then having sex on drugs, the drugs that, you know, certain drugs that people do, it makes them say, hey, I need that again. I need that again. I need that again. And they'll chase it and find it anywhere they can. Dopamine. Um, there's like three different. Um, there's three different. Um, serotonin, things in the brain. dopamine, serotonin, and, dopamine, and there's another one. I can't remember it either. But um, there's three phantom? of them. Yeah, you you get the same chemicals from coke as you do from an orgasm. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, when you can, you know, if you really care about the person, then the answer it is you've got endorphins. to walk away for you. One, two. You've got to encourage them to go get help for themselves. Man, Raya, that's a big ass word. <laughs> um, yeah. It could be endorphins, though. I know endorphins are released when you like exercise and things like that. It just makes you happy. Yep. I used to do that all the time. I would wake up dumb early. I would exercise before I went to work. Thank and you, Dizzy. I would just be happy all I day. Think. I would yeah, smoke cause... before I went in, but I would also just be happy all day because now I have endorphins just exploding From in my brain. Working out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so a real thing. there's lots of other things that you can do to they all end up in the same result yeah that's the point point. and if you're if you're on drugs if you're on, and now i don't consider weed a drug so that doesn't scratch that one off no. the table if you're on like real drugs yeah it's gonna be like you know you're you're gonna seek that thrill and if you can't get the drug you'll, you'll this, seek it any way you can to get those endorphins flowing let me be very clear and say that there are people with psychological disorders that do the same thing without drugs yeah, and it's no yep. more their fault than, you know, any other psychological trauma. So, yep. you know, you've got to, you got to start learning up, about Dizzy? yourself so yep. you can understand others. Yep. Yeah, and all of it is psychological. If you mm -hmm. notice that you're super happy he because didn't. of something as simple as sex, like sex makes your day, and you're chasing that, like you need to be able to know yourself enough to say, hey, something's wrong here. And, my, my. And, and come to and come to reason with yourself and say, hey, I need to not do this because now I'm chasing this because of how I felt that first time or how I right. felt that last time. Exactly. Yeah. And, and having a kid, why, why having a kid from it? I mean, again, you know, you, you, at that point, you're talking about if you got to deal with somebody cheating on you, you decide you're going to forgive them for that. That's a big enough problem where yeah. having a kid as well, because it's another level. If you guys are married and they not only cheated, but now they have a child from outside of the wedding, outside the marriage, that's just... I mean, that's, that's, that's between you guys. I mean, some people can never forgive that. Yeah. And if you look into your own self and you... You don't have to admit to anybody else what kind of person you are, but if you really look at your own self and you go, I just can't deal with this, walk away, man, because you won't be doing yeah. anybody, especially yourself, any favors yeah, if, by if saying. you're not able to forgive them, you, then you're going to spend the entire rest of that relationship wandering. Yeah. I wondering if they're out there fucking the somebody every time away. they leave the house. Yeah, I tell yeah. people all the time, like, if you cannot trust somebody leave it alone like just walk away don't put yourself through the misery and don't also don't put the other person through the misery and if there are kids involved don't put the kids through that misery like mm -hmm. that's very hard on the kids and i again i try to tell people it could be a lifelong role for these kids because of a decision that you made and they yeah. have to live through that and they repeat the cycle or things like that or they do even worse than you did because of your example so yeah it's it, there's a lot to it and you know if if you are married and you have kids together you will make different decisions than if you are 
just dating. Yeah. Right. Or if you don't have, if you're married without kids there, you know, there's a lot of levels to how you make your decisions. And when you're married and you have kids, you have to stop and think about a whole lot more. Right. Of, yeah. Of yeah. Cause things. it's not just you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can both grow up enough to, to talk it out, to work it out and to decide that you're going to work on it and that you actually do work on it. That's something totally different. But if there's drugs involved, you're nowhere near that level. Yeah. Right. Right. You, that that's the first part that has to happen. Mm-hmm. We got married, then she cheated and got pregnant. Not mine's. Well, you know, I'm I'm really sorry to hear that, uh, BV. Thank like, you, you know, it, it's one of those situations where, you know, the best advice I can give you is, you know, seek seek counseling. You know what I mean, and if and you, figure if you're it trying out. Trying to work it out. Yeah, if you're trying to work it out, but I would still say seek individual counseling for yourself yes, to be able to move forward from this because situation a, that's very traumatic. Yeah. yeah, there's a trauma to that just itself. So yeah. you 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 should have counseling. Right. Invest but, in counseling, um, everybody. Counseling. I, I tell people that we all to have invest shit. in counseling. Like if you have major issues going on, if you know that you are literally holding on something holding on to something from the past if you know that your your actions are not lining up with what you want things like that Mm -hmm. i would tell people like invest in therapy it's worth it yeah real therapy not not someone you just go in not your homeboy not your friend right Right. not even us and (laughs) just so you know you may not click with the first therapist you meet if you don't feel comfortable with that person find someone else Get another therapist that's a fact That's a um, fact. Phantom had a really good question. If a couple wants no more kids, who should get snipped? So oh, here's here's the short answer. If it's a lot fucking easier for the dude. Yes. Yeah, and I'm just um, saying. That's what I was going to say. So it's hard on a lady unless, to get that Unless done. she's currently pregnant and uh, it's going to be a C-section where they could do it all at one time, which is what they did with me. But I still wound up with cancer and they took it all out, which is even better, ladies. I'm telling <laughs> you, it is the best not to have it that yeah it (laughs) Um, if if, like she's not pregnant or there's no c-section on the table they're not already going to open her up and just do it you are not less of a man getting and it's easier for the men Mm -hmm. to reverse it is the thing you guys have a higher chance of the reversal being successful Mm -hmm. for us women it's much harder and it's a major surgery actually like we literally have to get put to sleep and uh, you know, there's maybe two doctors in the room. There's a bunch of assistants and nurses. Like, it's a major mm-hmm. surgery. It's a major thing. We could die on the table. Well, I think you could, yeah. you could dude, die at dude, any time of surgery. But Yeah, but for dudes, the men, the surgery isn't yeah. that bad. It's, it's you a go in, they make a little, they they make a little, yeah, they make a little tiny cut. Done. They snip, snip, done. So yeah, it's like it. they, they do that at doctor's you're back, offices. You're back at work a day later. Yeah, it's yeah, so look, much harder order for us. I mean, I didn't do that. Do I'm we just saying. We need to go to an actual hospital. We have to schedule an I appointment. Got you. I and... understand all that. All I'm saying is, I understand. <laughs> I do. I understand. <laughs> but it's just something about it. It's the, Again, it's it's the whole live octopus. The, the yep. It's, it's a well, mental block. Because, because of what men have been taught their whole lives. Yes. Right, and not only and, that, it's like it's control. It, it's the it's the yeah, uh, what exactly. you call them behind it the uh, the 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 imagery in your head. So, and Mr. IMO has a yeah, good point. You, if, the the if idea of shooting blanks is not. It just feels yeah. wrong. Yeah, Hang it's on, like I understand. I feel like that should be celebrated if you don't want kids, though. Like when you guys are hanging out with your homies and you guys are everybody's talking, it's like, well, I'm shooting blanks. I can't have none. Man, Good luck that, to y'all. Like, that's because like you're that a woman. I'm a... sorry. That that is never yeah. going. I have a friend that did it, and and we all you know made our jokes and all this and all that. If he even tried to be like you know. Yo, guess what, man? Well, yeah, y'all tripping because all you got to do is like, nah, bro. You, that's that, that cannot come up in an in all male conversation. It cannot. it cannot. It cannot. There's no acceptable segue. Nope. We could literally be saying, if it could be, you could have one guy in there who had it done, and you could have another guy thinking about getting it done. They got to talk to each other one on one after all the other boys left. Yep. You can't jump right. out there like, yeah, man, yo, I'm telling you, bro, shit cool. Yo, all they go, you lay there, they go, they just going to take one ball. That's it. 
You still got to like, no, nah, I'm cool. Know. Like you can't nope. that that conversation. Unless your next cousin Isaac who puts it all on Facebook. Oh yeah, my cousin he didn't give a well, fuck. I mean, yeah. so now, Isaac's guys got like sometimes what, four, four or five, five So kids, I would think so. that that would be like except yeah, like that would be a thing him, like. Though. Guys are whores, you know, you have, a, you know, some guys reach a should. point where they're like, hey, you know, my whore them is done and I don't want to have any more children out of this. I want to be a whore in peace. No, I'm, right? then, then, then work on your pullout game. Ensure, <laughs> right. ensure that, which, yeah, which wrap is, it up. Dude, do something. please don't ever encourage anybody to pull out. That is not an answer I, at all. I know, it but it's, wrap it up. I know. Yeah, there you go. That's another, I, I'm just saying. Like, I don't you, even tell people to wrap it up because that can fall off and get a hole in it. All kinds of things can happen. Oh, Listen, yeah, that all I'm saying is, get keep your nuts, shoot, fellas. Shoot blanks. You're going to keep them. They're still going to be there. They're not going to mm-hmm. leave. Listen, They'll I still be y'all. there. They'll still flap They're in still the wind in and all that good Listen, stuff. Listen, you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? You saying that. They They'll ain't still sure fucking nuts. Out. I've I'm, watched surgeries be that's done. That's all right. It's TV. You hey, watch it on TV, right? It doesn't I've no, watched the surgery wait, be wait, done. Wait, 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 on TV? Leave, they leave with their ball set. On TV? <laughs> they leave with their balls. I watched them. They leave them in there. They leave I watched one man turn into a big green fucking big ass Hulk. It's TV, man. Special special effects. Until you sitting there and they got the scalpel and they got your nuts in one hand. Like you, you talk about always oh, in and out. Thing. If there's a scalpel around me, it's for dentistry. No, and that's it. Well, I, I have no sympathy for you. My husband's actually held my uterus, so hmm. that is that is that's, that. That's a whole that other is, story. You eat okra? <laughs> Did you take a picture with, uh, with the uterus? Just saying. I'm trying. Eggs to tell was you. an emergency C-section. But did you take a picture like with the uterus and no. all of that? Ray, no, no. What the fuck? We weren't allowed yeah, to have a... cameras in. He was an emergency C-section. Yeah, like, plus some free. shit you. Oh. I said this. <laughs> some <laughs> shit don't have to be on camera, okay? Some shit you can have your own mental imagination. Let your brain do what it needs to well, do to no, make it that's palatable. A, that's a husband and wife memory, like for them to share, like to look I back just, on. Oh, she wasn't away for I'm, that shit. Oh well, no, that's totally well, drugged up. Yeah, like, she was memory. probably dead yeah. to the world. But for you know, looking back at her, she's like she could probably look back at that and say, "Damn, I was fucked up off that pit, off those medicine <laughs> that they gave me." Like, yeah. you yes, know what I mean? I like, was, I was over because... in the corner sleeping. You're posing with my uterus. Like, it's funny to laugh at later. <laughs> it is. Especially nope. since the whole thing's gone now. So, you yeah, know, it's, it's, look, it's it all takes, been, you know, La La Land now. It takes a special kind of person to be able to even just look inside of somebody's, you know, cut open torso. Like, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. people, they look in there, out. Gone. Yeah, yeah I'm cool. <laughs> but you held something. <laughs> that was a special moment. Like, I felt like that should have been photographed. No. You know, I, I, I grew up hunting and shit, so to me, it they, was like, you know, Phil, Phil dressed in a deer. Such, I was just like, hey, that's just some guts and shit. It was oh, such yeah, no, an so. emergency <laughs> that they didn't even take my necklace off when they brought me into surgery. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so yeah, you were, so yeah, like, it was you fast. Go end end. It was real fast. Yeah. I just and can't, I can't. Mm-mm. Do y'all ride, mm-hmm. Nick, do you ride roller coasters? Uh, I used to when I was younger, and now that I'm older, like, they they fuck my head up. Like I get on it and I get dizzy and shit, and then it's just too much. So which is worse, holding a uterus or riding a roller coaster? I need to know. Oh man, well it it really depends See? on you. See, it depends, it depends on, on you because Nick has. I no can ride a roller coaster. I can ride a roller coaster. Somebody put a uterus in my hand. When I wake <laughs> up, when I wake up, because I'm definitely gonna be on the floor. When I wake up, they may be not far, have been far able away. to hold- <laughs> Be far, far away. Uppercuts it's, and abrasions uh, are definitely on the way. It's, <laughs> no. definitely, it's definitely on. The uh, way. It's not for every like seeing something like that is not for everybody. Man, no. there's like yeah. doctors, doctors and nurses and shit. Shout That's, out to those them. are special people, man. I'm telling you. Oh, That's yeah. what special. I said. You mentioned something about um um uh, something with a deer. My old boss lived on a farm and oh, yeah, filled she li- <laughs> Listen. She lived in, in Greenville, fucking Illinois. There's literally nothing in Greenville but farms and, like, right. nothing of, of note. And so I grew up in Philadelphia, a big city, in an urban <laughs> environment, okay? The first thing that happened, and I should have known because they were progressively setting me up for some seriously fucked up shit. The first time we were on a conference call, so it's myself, I'm in Philly, the other trainer who was in Atlanta, Georgia, and then my boss and one of the other trainers who both lived in Greenville. And they're talking about, so it was like our first team meeting. And for some strange fucking reason, 
they decided the first meeting should be in Greenville because everybody should see Greenville. Nothing there. They're talking about, so I'm like, uh, I think what it was, like the flight landed at like, I don't know, let's just say 9 in the morning. Workday was supposed to start at 10. And I'm like, well, what if there's traffic? And they're like, oh, no. The only thing we have in Greenville that might cause traffic is the combines. Mm -hmm. So when I hear combines in my Philadelphia brain, I'm thinking NFL. I'm like, type of fucking sporting events. I'm Googling the shit. What NFL combine is in Greenville, Illinois? Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. So I asked it on the conference call. Everybody laughs. Then it gets progressively worse. So we're talking about food because my boss wants to make sure that, you know, she's, she's adhering to everybody's diets or whatever. And um, so it was like, you know, do you eat pork? Yeah, I eat pork. I, I'm with it. So the other lady that lives in Greenville says, oh, we got to get you some Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> so my thing is this. Country folk making fun. Yeah. Listen, Country so I'm folk like. making fun. They saw that city boy coming a mile away. I'm mm-hmm. like, yep. I'm on the phone and I'm like, I mean, I've never, at this point in time, I hadn't had oysters before. So this was before the New Orleans trip. So I'm like, I mean. I guess I'll try it. You know, I guess depending on how you season it or whatever. So the lady who <laughs> lived in Atlanta, she texts me and she's like, Anwar, they're making fun of you, bro. Rocky Mountain oysters is balls. Yep. Deep fried balls. Yeah, that was it. That was I almost lost my job that day. And and another time <laughs> when I got down there and they tried to offer me a uh, what do they call deer sausage? Yeah, I ain't with that either. I'm not. I don't want no parts of a deer. But yeah, they they tried to get me with that. Yeah, it was it was it was it was good. I, that's what's up. Em, there's plenty of it out there for y'all. Yeah, I'm not I've having eaten, it. I've eaten deer. I've eaten alligator. I've Here's eaten my thing. Shark. They call I've the shit game, different stuff. Which I don't even know what mm-hmm. the hell is in game, but mm-hmm. I've eaten it. But call it call deer deer. Don't what's the shit? Uh, what is it? venison? Venison. Venison. No, deer. Deer. <laughs> Deer, like it's not. Don't call it something. I'm the same way with calamari too. Call it squid. Let me know exactly what it is. Game is be, elk at a BC. Well, thank you. I've, I've yeah. I ate elk for like maybe a. a I want to say like elk maybe eight good. months. I'm not. Mm-mm. The closest I came was I had a a, a bison burger, and I'm and, not and big that on was bison. yeah, and that was and and, and so. Which is why I'm never having any of that other fucking animals. <laughs> but Deer is good. Bison's really Deer is good. They were saying like it's better than beef. Mm-hmm. And we went to some. It, it's like a fucking. I don't know what it is. I think I this know. was actually I'm I think in Oklahoma. Atlanta. I'm it was like Oklahoma, a, a, a restaurant <laughs> that that's what the meat that they serve. It was all different types. It was like bubble gum shrimp. It was like they got fried bison, fricassee bison, yeah. bison skewer, just bison everything. <laughs> So they convinced me to get a fucking burger because I'm like, all right, it can't be but so bad. And I bit into it, and it's like, yeah, y'all can have this shit. I'm good on that. I'm going no right. Good, a, man. I'm going across the street. I don't. I can't stand McDonald's. He sounds like me though. But first I went and got a fucking I McDonald's saw burger. A turducken. So I'm um, in Colorado, and my aunt yeah, I don't, made I don't Thanksgiving I dinner. I don't know mm-hmm. why people do that shit. I don't either. <laughs> But we're at my aunt's house for Thanksgiving and she normally cooks like a off meat. She'll make like a duck or something like that. And I'm like, I'm not eating that or whatever. Um, but this year she made a turducken and I'm like, well, what the fuck is that? Like, I've never heard of this shit before. Losing my mind. Yeah. The first time I, I had like her it. duck, I didn't like the duck. That was number one. Like it was just too fatty and like greasy yeah. for me. Yeah. And yeah, um, duck is an acquired taste, man. That's not for everybody for sure. Yeah, for sure. it definitely and it's is. It's only good, by, you know, when you can cook There's it like by itself ways. and you get it nice, crispy on the outside. Because yeah, once you no, stick it in that turkey like, like that, slathered that's in gravy. Her duck yeah. was like slathered in gravy. It was just like oily mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and fatty, and it was just, I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. But then she made it to her duck in, and I was like, maybe I can eat some of the meat. But no, the way she sliced it, it, it yeah, she made sure you were going to get all the meat. <laughs> like, everything was kind of mixed. And I was like, no, 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 I can't do it. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm I'm not big on duck. I've had, now, dub is pretty good. And pheasant. I haven't had that. And, I haven't had uh, pheasant either. 
I feel like uh-huh. some of those birds, I feel like eating other birds for me, like even like Cornish hens, I'm like, am I eating like a pigeon or something? Like this is the size <laughs> of the pigeons that are outside of my home. <laughs> uh, people do eat pigeons. Yeah, I, 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 know I had a very, do. I had a very unique childhood. No, no. I, I, I grew up in the city, but my grandfather once a year would go hunt. And so that's where all the hunting and shit come from. All the different animals that we would, we would shoot and eat. And uh, out of all Candle? of them, I got it, you know, out of everything that I've ever had, deer is probably the best out of shit that I've killed. Well, yeah, you know, I, I recommend, beef, 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 I'm about to say, I, I recommend killing a cow or a pig. Bacon is the greatest thing on the planet. Bacon so, is the greatest pigs, thing on the I'm planet. I'm not going to lie. So I knew someone who worked in a meat market here. If you guys don't know, um, Philadelphia has the Italian meat market very old legendary place here in philadelphia um really great meats um and i knew someone who worked there and basically they got the the pig or the cow or whatever it was pretty much put together and he had to like chop everything down and mm-hmm. put it in different ovens you talking about the make, oh no you no, said the italian market make make lunch meat out of the animal like all of that like they had to make mm-hmm. all of that happen um and seeing those deliveries freaked me all the way to hell out. Like, what the hell? Are... First of all, when you see a whole pig, like you, you see a whole pig dead and it's like kind of sliced down the middle. All the mm-hmm. organs and shit is pulled out, but it's like it's kind of sliced down the middle and they and they go to chopping at it. It's like, oh, hell no. Like, mm-hmm. get me out of here. Yes, Mr. I am on 9th Street. You already know the vibes. <laughs> Listen, I worked at I worked at a, uh, it wasn't that, but it was it basically like the same thing. I, w- I worked at a, a, a definitely fucking like a horror movie. meat plant one day. <laughs> <laughs> got there to jump the jaw off of eerie ass. I got there and, you know, a buddy of mine was like, yo, I got this job. It's sweet. You know, they pay. I, it was like <coughs> they paid. It was like twenty dollars an hour if it was under the table. Um, so I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'll do it. Sign me up. I got there and, and it was in the middle of the summer. He's like, you know, dress warm, bring a beanie cap, bring gloves, whatever, whatever. Cause it's basically inside of a freezer. Yep. I got there. And the first thing they had me do was the, the mopping thing, but it's not like regular mop. It's like the squeegee and you're doing the mm-hmm. floor. I ain't paying it. No attention. I'm just looking at all types of shit on the floor, man. I was in there for a good hour cleaning that area. They're like, Oh, okay. So the boss guy, like, oh, okay, you know, that's what we always do to make sure people can handle the environment. You know, it's fast-paced, this and that, this and that. I go over to to the main side, and this motherfucker, they got a, a, a it's like, it's, it's like Rita said, it's a whole cow, mm-hmm. but it's dead, it's on the hook, and it's spread in half. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. cut in half. Like oh, no. Is. Oh, fucking no. And that's what I seen, no. like, so they had the, they would bring in a truck with, like, a bunch of cows lined up on hooks. There would be another truck pulled up with pigs lined up on hooks. So you've only one seen like them. Turkeys. You've only seen them when like they're already, already they're already cut. Yeah, yeah, but I do have family um, in the south, and they they had land and everything, and they they made us like kill chickens and shit. I ain't doing none was, of that. Shit. Yeah, I was I was really life. young though. Hey. I was like really young and I grew curious, up on a farm, and they're like so. you grab it by the neck and you just do like this and mm-hmm. you. What and they say? That's what we did, and and we we. I mean, it, it is what it is. But I was freaked out after that, and then I found out they like ate r- raccoons and possums and shit like that. And I was like, nah, I ain't I'm doing not none of that shit. Y'all. I'm not doing none of that. No, shit. I will kill a chicken, no, don't eat possums. but I'm not eating don't, a raccoon. I'm, I'm not eating, eating no possum. I'm not eating. I'm not eating none, none of that. Don't eat your animals. I'm eating. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm eating cow, beef, pork, bacon. Regular fucking turkey, just you know, turkey like turkey wings, turkey breasts. But I'm not gonna lie though. No, that's Rita. Rita telling her stories, Jay Black. That's Rita's story. (laughs) What they told us in the South was put that in your blog, Jay Black. Their raccoons and (laughs) possums are more healthy because they're not eating the garbage that they eat up here. So they say like up north there. Yeah, and that was the thing. Yeah. Down there, it's like they they live yeah, uh-huh. where it's like dirt roads. Jay Black's Everything going to is like about a mile apart, mm-hmm. so it's like you know the your neighbor is a mile mm-hmm. apart, and they have like mm-hmm. damn near trailer homes. So it's like I ain't doing what none do you of that they're shit. Like, well, our raccoons are actually healthier down here because they have the right nutrition, and and I'm I'm looking at them like it's I a raccoon. Still I still and, how, and, and here's the thing: how the fuck do you know? 
that's the thing. You're making that assumption. That raccoon could still be out eating all types of disgusting that's old, shit. That's old folklore, I guess. Right. I don't know. I would not eat hey, raccoon. Pandas, right? I would Me not neither. eat possum. I wouldn't eat I any wouldn't, of that. I'll eat, I'm not eating deer. I'll eat I'm rabbit. Eating rat. I'll whoa, eat whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say you will I'm eat not, squirrel? I have. Squirrel? Yeah, yeah, squirrel is like eating. It's uh, pretty, squirrels you know, are like crackheads. Like I couldn't ingest them. I got to hear this. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, their meat is tough. It's like tough chicken. I yeah. bet they are. They like crackheads. They use all their muscles. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> and the same thing with jackrabbits. You know, uh, you got to cook, you got to braise them the really south, nicely. Though. That's just the South. Like, I know a lot of people up North are like, nah, I ain't eating that. I grew up on a farm. So, when you're Did y'all have cows and, chicken, and pigs? Yes, we did. And chickens? Yep. There and you rabbit. go. That's all you needed. No, so you didn't need the rabbit. It was supposed to be cows, chicken, <laughs> <laughs> and pig. See, Elle, babe. you've been too adventurous. Just like Babe, you know? <laughs> yeah, right? But anyway, raise, all right. So raise goats and everything else. So, you know, I, I have, I have my... Lamb, lamb and um, goat is good I as well. I eat lamb chops. I'm not eating goat. I don't want no goat cheese. I want a goat milk. I want nothing from a goat. I, I have Thank had you. lamb chops, though. Goat is good. Thank That's you. That's what's up. I ain't fucking with goat. Right. All right, so I, I want to get to the last question. We kept you guys for a minute, but <laughs> I feel like I want to pick this one just because... Well, um, we have two you got, more. We have two more. I know, but it's 11 o'clock already. So oh, okay. The one that I want to ask you guys about, this was, I believe, uh, Nick's choice. Number 63, how to fight in a relationship, public versus private, and what's off limits. Um, I feel like, you know, I wanted to ask you guys that because, you know, you guys have had a, a long, successful marriage. Yeah. Feel free to tell other people's stories, but I feel like, obviously, you guys – quote unquote know how to fight without you know what i mean it turning into a, a, a big eruption so yeah well yeah it, no. it was not always that no uh, oh of course not you know you gotta it, learn when well, it was I when also... it was young it was an eruption it was loud it was crazy it was hey i might get an ashtray thrown at me like a big heavy glass or i some also shit. was a bipolar i <laughs> had <Apple Express. laughs> i had a i had ect done so I was bipolar and my, my head was, so, but after ECT, we did learn to communicate much better. Okay. And I wish we had learned how to do it when we were much younger. Yeah, um, there, there were, a, a, fuck, I don't know, 10, seven, 10 years in, every single fight was loud. Every single fight, something might've got broke. I mean, it was, it was crazy. Um, ECT yeah. is, is what you would call electric shock therapy. But, you know, and it always starts out with me trying to be calm. But then bipolar kicked in and then she would get crazy and then I would just couldn't handle it anymore and I would get crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as far as a time and a place, man, they're honestly yelling at each other. There is no time or place. Like, no, because you're not communicating. You're, you're not. Once Once mm -hmm. you raise your voice communication has ended mm -hmm. okay yeah i mm -hmm. i like that um you know rita and i've been together for quite a while too and agreeing with you 100 percent. you know our our fights and arguments early on were definitely i would say not productive yeah they were mm -hmm. it's like they you weren't know, necessarily loud we just didn't get to the point I wasn't you didn't alone. know how to communicate with each other mm -hmm. yet. Right. Right. And that's right. something it, you have to learn from each other because every person is different. So you got to learn fact. how you, you two can communicate because yep. the way you two may need to discuss it is very different how somebody else might need to. Yep. And if you need to, you know, you can't, you can't bring up old shit and in public is never the place. You don't need everybody else yeah. no in your business. Your business. You know, right. Yeah, the, right. the, the public business. thing is, is for me, is like one of those things where it's like, it's a big no-no. If I have to, if I lose we've both it been so pissed. much we've that both I been go pissed off in on public. you in public. We've both been mad in public, and it's like. You better run. Like, <laughs> if, if you if you make me that on. insane, you better run. <laughs> you don't well, want to we, go home with me. We've both been angry <laughs> in public before, and it just, it, you you halt. Yeah. You just hold you hold it. You think about yeah, it. You I'll have time to cool it. off before yeah. you get in the car to drive home and, and then you can start discussing it. But actually, yeah. if you take that thought process to every time you're having a disagreement, 
and pretend like you're in public when it begins and you walk away for 10 minutes. Right. Yep. Right then, you'll have it a lot more productive later on. Yeah. So it's, and don't fight in front of your kids. Yeah, definitely not. Shout out to Rihanna. She said fighting in front of the coffee shop or fighting in the coffee shop on the phone while it's on speakerphone. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. I, I personally, I think, you know, public displays, the, the, the main issue with that is you never know who's watching. You never know who has, you know, designs on your significant other or anything yeah. like that. Right. And by having that fight in front of them, it's literally opening that door to for that person to come in and say, oh, hey, Nick, you know, I would never or hey, Em, I would never. And it's already a vulnerable time. You're already pissed off. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it just it can and open up something so so much bigger. Along those same lines <sighs> is. Remember, whoever wants to listen to you vent might not be your friend. Right. Oh, they may they may have some they other may have intentions. They may have intentions. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. The other thing for me is not only that, but it opens your relationship up now for conversation when you're in public and something happens. So yep. even if it's in right. front of strangers, they may chatter about it. They may say, "Hey, I saw this crazy couple." The guy looked like this. The girl looked like today. That, and they were arguing. They got their camera like, on you. Yeah, yep. today is the camera. Right. And today, <laughs> that's, that's what it that is. Shit. So now you don't even have to do <laughs> that. And, and let's just say your coworkers see it or something like that, and it's like, damn. They you go to work on Monday, and it's like, oh, you get you. I saw you arguing in the mall with your husband over the weekend. Like, what do you do at that point in time? You're yeah, now that your got relationship. Yeah, a million hits on YouTube, man. Y'all yes. Right. right. Your relationship and your argument at the mall is now being talked about by a bunch of people who don't know you. They're pre-assuming all, all kinds of things about your relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you, you kind of got to sit back and say, well, damn, did we really need to argue in public? Right. <laughs> right. At yeah. the end of the day, I think in private is always best. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you just, you just don't want people, you know, in your business. And because the other thing is you do it in public and let's say there's friends around. Friends are typically going to choose sides. Yeah, yes. that too. And now, a month later, when everything's fine and dandy, now the friend's in an awkward position. You know what I mean? So it's just, it just opens up so much, you know what I mean, uh, just negativity and, and toxicity to, to come into your relationship by... Or they instigate. <laughs> that's a fact, that too. That, too. The friends tend to be the ones who instigate. The, the friends and the parents are the mm-hmm. ones who tend to instigate the most. So if you bring them your troubles or your troubles happen in front of them and you're arguing in front of them, they automatically have their mind made up and they're like, you know what? I don't like this guy or I don't like this girl and that's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So after that, whatever they do or however they act is based upon um, what you allow to occur in front of them. Right. And that's very, very true. And also, is it your relationship or your relationship and your parents are part of it or your right. friends well, your are friends in the middle of, of it? it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. is it your relationship? And yeah. so, you know, you have to make a real understanding that it's you and me against the world. Right. Yep. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people, you know, unfortunately are more interested in seeing the breakup and the aftermath, the mess, the drama. That's, mm-hmm. you know, unfortunately and then again, what that more brings people want. upon conversation. So your business mm-hmm. is out there. People are talking about it because it's something to talk about. Yep. Yep. So, well, do listen, you think, Oh, go do ahead. You think do you think as couples, you should be 50, 50. Yes. Your partnership. You are, you don't like 50, 50. Isn't quite what you think it is. He has his things that he is better at. I have the things I'm better at. Our partnership goes all the way into what we do here on Caffeine. He does his part of it. I do my part of it. It We live a full partnership. Everything has to be, we have to make a decision. We have to choose. Right. It's not me. Right. Yeah. 
I do that too. I'm like very much like I'll bring stuff to Anwar and he's like, why the fuck are you asking me this? Like, just order whatever you want to order. And it's like, yep, well, I need your help as well because if I order something that's not the right height, the right size, you're going to be like, well, you didn't do that right. Why didn't you consult me? And it's like, well, I'm consulting you now beforehand. Make sure I get it right alongside you. So if shit goes wrong, we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly. Exactly. Because oh. let me tell you, nothing worse than one person being the, the to blame for some fuck up. You don't want that. Yeah. Make it's the decisions like if, together. Right. Yeah. If we got to take the fall, we're going to take the fall together. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to, you know, be good, if we order something and everything's perfect, we're going to give each other a high five and say, yeah, we did that together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I, I got one last question. I'm going to let you guys go. I know we had you for a minute. Oh, okay. Nick, this one's for Nick and Nick only. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. How long does it take? before you actually get the answer to so what do you want for dinner oh hell does it does does it ever get uh, better no hold on <laughs> nope it never gets better okay it's 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 it he doesn't like my I, answer I because have... my answer is always italian and if you're not going to ask me about italian <laughs> i don't give a fuck. right so oh, if okay. we're going to order something like if we're ordering something <clears throat> no nah, you ain't no nah. Mm -mm. You're but, just gonna okay. have to fucking when choose. When it comes to just what's choose. for dinner, that's my word of advice, dudes. Choose. When it comes to what's just make for the dinner choice and, cooking, and it, so here's what I've it's learned: me. if you just make the choice, if she don't like it, she'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you let, if you try to get her to make the choice, she's just gonna say some shit like "you choose" or whatever you yeah. want. Or yeah, I'm still dealing with it to this <laughs> day. Like, just, look, just be like, this is what we're having, and the if she, she ain't cool with that, is... she'll tell you. You right, want French fries. You want French fries from McDonald's and a, um, and that's you want the answer, hamburger like, from yeah. So that's my other problem. I I I want the French fries from one place, the burger from another. I want my drink picked up at the store in the box. That shit ain't happening. I'm not doing that. And so, see, for me, I'm more so like it doesn't matter where we go because I'll find something that I like no matter where we go. But if you're really asking me what I want. It may not be available right now, or it right. may be out of the way. So we're not even going to get into what I want. Like, right. he'll ask me what I want, and I don't know if you guys have it there. There's a restaurant <laughs> called Chima. I'll say, oh, I want Chima. Chima, you have to, you know, go at certain times. Otherwise, you have to have reservations, things like that. It's a lot that goes into it. So if you're really asking me what I want, I do want Chima right now. I could go for a nice steakhouse. You know, we could play and dabble in all kinds of steaks and things like that and enjoy our night. But that needs to probably be reserved ahead of time things like that oh. uh mr imo said they have the best shrimp on earth like there's just certain places where it's like it may be out of the way parking may be an issue i don't think we want to go with my decision yeah, but no, whatever you about, want i'll find something that's, that's that i like my, that's my <laughs> advice don't even ask her what she wants just right. tell her just this, is what I'm gonna here. this is what i'm gonna get for dinner and have a backup plan yeah okay. sometimes <laughs> she might say Sometimes she might be like, nah, I ain't feeling that. And then you'd be right. like, all right, then this is what we're having. Like, never, I don't know, man. That, I don't know why that choice is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Dude, me, me neither, it's man. It's but like, when I want something, I am very specific. And I'm like, I want to go out and have this. And yeah. that's, when I have I'm that okay opinion, that. you're set. Yeah, but I'm good with that. You gotta bring it up. Yeah, to I'm talking it. about just, yeah, just a random Wednesday. Like, mm -hmm. listen. You know, we're not cooking tonight. Well, I'm going to order something from Uber Eats. What do you want? Huh? Yep. It, it, it's an hour and a half later. And for me, you know what it's hard to get an answer to? What do you want for dinner tonight? If I'm cooking, it's like, hey, we have this, this, uh, and this in the freezer. What do you want for dinner? Because my thing and is, it's I, like, I, I don't, don't care. Want, just cook yeah, whatever you want to cook. I don't want to yeah, say something. Too. Yeah, I don't want to say something that creates a whole issue. Because, for example, if I say something like, damn, I really want, I don't know, Shrimp and, and and greens and mac and cheese. I can make that happen. But then that's it's all he has to say. But then it's <laughs> oh well, we don't have any shrimp. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, all right. Gotta go get, now you got to go normally, get shrimp. Yeah, I, I got to go get shrimp. <laughs> normally, I give the options though. I'll say, hey, we have steak, we have chicken wings, we have chicken breast, and we have fish. What do you want for dinner? And he's like, I don't care. Whatever you cook. And it's like, well, what do you want? Because I've been cooking blank, all right. You're in trouble. Ladies, 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 ladies. When a man says he don't care, he really don't care. Right. 
I don't hear my give thing. A be, I need with some my input kidney. because I've been picking all week or for the last two mm-hmm. weeks or for the last two months what we're going to eat. And when I finally do I'll see decide you, to ask you, what do you want to eat for dinner? It's I don't oh, care. Shit. <laughs> Rihanna get her easy to block captain on. You gotta say it three times though, Rihanna. <laughs> and then I get in my feelings and I'm like, well, fuck it. We not gonna eat nothing. I'm gonna reheat some leftovers because he don't eat leftovers. So that yeah. that's one of my things. I'd be like, oh, well, you don't know what you're gonna eat. Well, I'm gonna eat leftovers. And I'll be on Uber Eats. Eats. I do too. Nah, I'm boosting. I'll be on Uber Eats. That shit. Yeah, I, I'm Making cool. Extra what is bougie. wrong with you guys? <laughs> He's like, I don't eat that there's shit either. I grew up it. in a house where. You didn't get new food until the leftovers were finished. Bet then I won't eat till leftovers and that's are how finished. I grew right? Up. I'm inviting all my friends over. Hey, yo, y'all yep. want to come over? We'll all eat it. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we having a buffet. Y'all can have whatever you <laughs> want. It's in the fridge. Oh, there shit. you go. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm cool. Well, listen, yeah, we want, appreciate you y'all. Leftover steaks. Yeah, there you go. Microwave yeah, it and crazy. keep it. crazy he said a buffet because his mom cooks damn near every day. Like, she cooks a lot every day. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> My mom will invite us over, and she's like, and, and the and best she has is. she has a buffet when She'll we get say, there. like, oh, I made shrimps today. It's like, oh, okay, cool. We'll come but by. she made three different kinds it's of shrimps. three different kinds of shrimp, all and, sides, and, salads, yeah. <laughs> and different juices, and cocktails. It's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, damn. You know, you got to line up. You're going to be here for a while. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, listen, I appreciate you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, some really dope topics. Appreciate everybody for joining the yes. stream, sharing the stream. Yeah. Um, Pig Stand is on caffeine at Much Pig Stand. Thank you. Um, yeah. They're here every day except for Wednesdays. They took today off just to hang out with us, so can't wait for tomorrow. But every day, 9 p.m. What's y'all posted time? 9 p.m. to midnight. Uh, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. would be Eastern time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. 8 p.m. to midnight, our time. Yeah. Okay. But they rock out. So if you're not yeah. following them, make sure you tune in. They talk about all types of everything. Uh, one of my personal favorite shows on caffeine. So again, Thank you so much. it's Emerald that you're hearing. That's <laughs> Nick from Pig Stand, <laughs> aka the Troll Killer. And we all are Pig Stand. <laughs> right. We are all Pig Stand. So yeah, tune yeah. in to Pig Stand yeah. to find we out the story you for of the Troll Killer. Us on, man. Thank you. No, no problem. So it's, a, it's been thank a pleasure. You, you. It has. It this has. Yeah, have you thank ever you thought of doing a relationship show? No, never. Oh, we got to bring you guys back jump on in again and ask a question. And we'll just break it down and be like, yeah, this is, you know, this is what we think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's that. I haven't we definitely have yet. To, <laughs> yeah. We have to have you guys back, of course. Um, we'll definitely have you guys back on. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, again, uh, thank you guys for joining us. I'm Jess Anwar. I'm Slim Rita. That's Nick. And the voice you've been hearing all night long is Emerald. We are all pig stand. This has been the A&R Show Relationship Thursdays. Thank you so much. Good night. Y'all have a good night.